Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interest. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, three or 6 p.m. Central Time, any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our signature points club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Your host tonight is an Eagles fanatic. I already know I like it because it's on a Philadelphia Eagle. He talks about the Eagles even when they aren't being pulled. Can't say enough good things. The only negative thing I can say is he's not a Philadelphia Eagle because we had a horrible draft. I'll always hype up an Eagle. Don't you worry, Fonz. <laughs> Make sure to ask to see a sweet thigh tattoo. Your host tonight, Colin, a.k.a. Thor Rudisil. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. And from the UA studios here in Burridge, Illinois, this is Ultimate Autographs. How's everybody doing today? Colin Rudisol alongside my man, Alex Telez, your regular Tuesday afternoon crew. We're ready for a nice show, man. Brand new diamonds in the room. There's like not a better phrase of words in the no. Ultimate Autograph fly break room. So many great hits in that new diamond series. A name we haven't seen in a while on my favorite Cincinnati Bengal helmet, that Joe Burrow back in the room some crazy staples barry sanders jamar chase tyree kill justin jefferson but the biggest of them all how about a chrome speed flex of the best left-handed quarterback to ever play steve young that's going to be a great series only 30 boxes 13 headliners right out the gate that's going to be a lot of fun moving on though we have only three boxes left in the vault one vault key still left in there with that being said that's going to be our automatic chase today which means that is the only thing that's going to get you a chase wheel spin during this show is playing in that vault series we actually have a double and a single up so once we get both of those closed boom wheel spin just for those people we'll re-spin the wheel if we're able to get both of those closed up uh jerseys jerseys i think there's 16 jerseys left seven headliners in my opinion the best jersey that's actually worn on the field the powder blue charger jersey antonio gates still out there eric dickerson aj green brian erlacher we got three authentic still in the college series with josh allen jerome bettis only eight of those left by the way so lots of good things to do our first break as a matter of fact is actually the mini helmets with tj hawkinson earl campbell roger craig and a double up with chris johnson with that earl campbell so that's what we're going to get into first alex are you ready to get started oh i'm ready i don't know i have zero people watching in my chat and i just feel like that's wrong so i'm gonna say hello everyone first and foremost let me know if you're out there see because i got eight on twitch in I figured that's the case, but yeah, maybe, uh, well, hold on. The message went through. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just not showing the right. No, they say, I see, hello everyone. Okay, well, as long as you can see it, um, hopefully I'm seeing people in the chat, but regardless, we are gonna get the uh, show set up. I am gonna, okay, well, I see people in the chat. Hello, Ditka Duo, what's going on? I'm guessing he's a, is he a Bears fan? Or just so. a Ditka fan? What's up, Chris? Good to have everybody in the break room today. Ring Chase Mini is our first break of the day, guys. We got Al, Kyle, Corey, Steven, Apollo, St. Clair, and Roderick Agmata. JW said, I'm here, Colin. <laughs> All right, John's here. 
As long as John's here, we're good. Everything else is fine. Go ahead and drop me uh, two numbers for mini number one, and then we're gonna get the show set up. As mentioned, guys, right off the bat, the automatic chase is going to be the vault. Let's get those last three vaults out of the room. Just those three that are gonna be in there. So a max of 24 names at max for a chase wheel spin to win up to $100. I don't want to toot my own horn, Alex. Every time I do this, I mess it up. But oh, man. I did spin a 98 yesterday. Ooh. So I, I'm a little bit hot. Afternoon from Adam. What's up, Adam? That's not Adam Cantwell, is it? Different Adam C? Anyway, we do need our dice roll. So we will go to the randomizer here. It's going to determine the amount of times we randomize everybody's names for their divisions, their conferences. And that's it, because there's no one in four out here right now. So six or higher, five will not do. Nine will do. Nine was already the dice roll, so that makes life easy. Cool. And I will also go ahead and drop in the live breaks page, everybody. This is our only pre-fill right now, the minis. However, we are four to go on that first diamond double box break. We're three to go on the college double. Four to go now on the vault single. Could be just the single we get done. Then it's only eight names for a chase. Uh, guaranteed full-size helmet coming out in that vault, by the way. So one to go in the jerseys. That'll probably be realistically be our next break. Oh, yeah. So let me know, Al, Kyle, Corey, Steven, Apollo, or Roderick. Steven was new yesterday. Still have not seen him in the chat, but new yesterday. If not, uh, I think we'll go to the randomizer. It'll be the top two, because there's only, there's only nine left. I'm going to go ahead and start putting them in there, but feel free to buzzer beat me. Once the randomizer pops up, though, that is going to be final. We are going to go to the randomizer to decide. 18, 22, and 23. Okay, Apollo does have one. He's got four. Apollo, do you want to call the second one? Hope you're doing well, Mr. St. Clair. Uh, the, it's wide open, it seems like. I think they're going to leave it up to you, my man, if you want to call them. Otherwise, we can go to the wheel for one, too, or the randomizer for one. There's, like, not a lot on this ticker. It's interesting. <laughs> Getting low. Getting low. That usually means there's new stuff on the horizon once we get all this old stuff out of the room. It's also a fresh brand new diamond series. Right. Oh, I can't wait to look at that here in a minute. 22. All right. Thank you, Apollo. We'll do 4 and 22 in the minis. Apollo at the 11th hour calling him. Al down to Roderick. Let's get it started, y'all. Boom. Nine clicks. Here we go. AFC South, the double up opportunity here in the minis. But we're also still looking for TJ Hawkinson up in the NFC North. That is where Al resides for this break. Got the first spot. Came out on the top spot. So Al looking for TJ Hawkinson. Steven's in the NFC South. We've got Kyle in the NFC East. Steven in the AFC, or excuse me, NFC West looking for Roger Craig. And then we've got Roderick in the AFC North. Corey Lockridge, one spot in this break, could win Earl Campbell and Chris Johnson in the same break. Apollo St. Clair, box collar mojo here in the AFC East. And then Kyle Hummel in the AFC West. Box number four. Here we go. The former Tony Stewart box. Later on in his career. We have a headliner to start the show, Alex. We have one of the best tight ends last season for the Minnesota Vikings, TJ Hawkinson. There you go. Al, one spot starter mojo for you. Grabbing TJ, a two-letter first name for a two-letter first name. A TJ for an Al. It's nice. TJ really turned it on last year, man. I mean, we already knew he was one of the best even when he was in Detroit, but carried that right over to Minnesota oh, and yeah. was definitely a big-time target on that offense for Kirk Cousins or, uh, you know, Romeo, or not Romeo Dobbs, Josh Downs. Whoever was throwing the ball, Josh Dobbs. Josh Dobbs, is that his name? Joshua Dobbs. Joshua Dobbs, and then it's Romeo Downs. There was he Dobbs too. There's Romeo Dobbs on the Packers. He's a wide receiver. That's what I'm thinking of. I confused Romeo Dobbs with Josh Dobbs. Anyway, doesn't matter. Beckett certified here on one of the best tight ends in football. Congratulations, Al. Keep him around for for now. I think once we get to the diamonds, it'll probably be a quick exit, but Oh yeah. For now. Keep TJ around. We'll see. I don't know who's gonna be the quarterback in uh in Minnesota. Steven and I were talking about it yesterday. The latest mock I saw from Kuiper and McShay had the Vikings trading up to five, I believe, and grabbing J.J. McCarthy. 
I think what he, like JJ McCarthy, if he falls to you, yeah, if you like him, take him. Don't trade up for him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. They do need a quarterback. I, Sam Darnold's okay. I think no matter what quarterback they take, though, it'll be good because they have so many weapons. Like yeah. Like TJ Hawkinson. That's why I'm almost on. I'm more on the board of, like, just roll with Sam and see how he does with all those weapons. And then if you need a quarterback after that, if it still fails, then go get a quarterback. But what do we got here? The Joey Logano box, 22. I think we got a filler this time around. Oh, not quite. We have a listed headliner. Ooh. Guy that rushed for 2,000 yards on the beautiful salute to service Tennessee Titan, Chris Johnson. That's a really nice hit. Great looking lid here. Congratulations to Corey Lockridge in the AFC South. CJ2K. Man, was absolutely electric. Oh, yeah. That year he had 2,000 yards. I had never seen a running back with that much pizzazz, you know? Just ran the ball so quick. So quick. He hit a hole and it was over. You know? Oh, yeah. He had safeties, linebackers on their heels. They were never going to catch him. Even with Lendell White taking some carries from him. Lendell White. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Let's go, Lendell White. Can't go a show without saying his name. Right? Or Mike Tolbert. Oh, Tolbert. <laughs> the classic. So nice. A listed headliner, a photo headliner. Mm -hmm. Good little mini break there. Congratulations, Corey. Congratulations, Al. Nice hit there from the Dark Wolf. Ooh, what a right? I think he was talking about TJ Hawkinson, but regardless, we'll keep both minis on for now. Why not? Beckett certified, by the way. A mini show. A little mini show so far. Looks like we did fill up. I'm guessing that's the jerseys. Love Hurts. Yeah. Bang. Love Hurts number one. Steven Lenhart with three. Apollo St. Clair, Megan Stowell, and Heather Livingston. Drop me a number. If I can type. For jersey number one. Jerseys now. 16 boxes, by the way. Seven headliners. I want to see the Antonio Gates, personally. I know you're probably interested in the Brian Urlacher. Of course. But Robert Mathis, Joe Theismann, Drew Bledsoe still out there, as well as Eric Dickerson and A.J. Green. All those guys good. So let me know if anybody has a number. In the meantime, guys, I already got another spot knocked off in that diamond double. I'm going to go ahead and drop in the link because that is three to go. This series is wide open, guys. Let's go ahead and show the graphic real quick. Look at all of these headliners. If you're looking at this and thinking, holy cow, I want anything that's on there, everything that's on there, good news. That is still a possibility mm -hmm. for anybody that's out there. I mean, we're talking about probably three of the top five wide receivers in the NFL right now, right? Tyree Kill, Justin Jefferson, that's probably one and two on some beautiful Lunar Authentics. In my opinion, Jamar Chase is absolutely a top five wide receiver in the NFL. Beautiful Bengals flash helmet, by the way, you can win Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow in this break together in that AFC North. If you are a Bengal fan, this is the break for you. That is fantastic. Probably the biggest hit is obviously the chrome flex here of Steve Young, that red visor, the beautiful gold chrome. No, we got a lot of 49ers fans in the room right now. That is a centerpiece item for you. Centerpiece item for Colin, though, uh, the eagle quad sign. Love any time we get that. I'm guessing it's the one we usually get. It looks like at these autographs they are. It is Donovan McNabb, Michael Vick. Uh, right here is Randall Cunningham. And then right underneath him is Ron Jaworski. So four of the greatest quarterbacks in Eagles history, all on one full-size authentic. Deion Sanders, by the way, which we peered, uh, paired up with that Steve Young. If you're a Cowboy fan, we got Michael Irvin. You can pair with Emmett Smith, a camo here, and that alt black for Michael Irvin. And then the new school salute to service of the best running back to ever play. Barry Sanders, what a set of headliners we have in this brand new Diamond Series. 33 is going to be the jersey, by the way. We've got Andre Johnson, Eddie George, Marshall Falk, and Joe Green. You guys know everything in the Dimers, though. Dimers. Diamonds <laughs> are some bangers, is what I was going to say. 33 coming up in the jerseys. Thank you, Apollo. Unafraid to call some boxes here early. Just called some good ones. Two headliners the first time around. Does that continue in the jerseys? Let's find out. Steven down to Heather. Good luck. Nine clicks. Thank you, Alex. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Steven with the bookends here. The NFC North and the AFC South. Two good spots with a Brian Urlacher still out there and an Antonio Gates still out there. 
So you could win on either one of those. Megan's got the NFC South. Heather in the NFC East looking for Joe Theismann. Steven also has the NFC West looking for Eric Dickerson. Steven has three out of the four final photo headliner spots. That's not too bad. No. AFC North, though, for Apollo St. Clair. Called headliners last time looking to call himself one with A.J. Green. We've got Megan in the AFC South and the AFC East. Still got a Robert Mathis and a Drew Bledsoe out there, I'm guessing. Drew Bledsoe we get on Cowboys sometimes. Most times I would say I see him on Bills, but you never know. Or Patriots. We'll see. Uh, and then Steven in the AFC West. That Chase helmet is so sick, right? So sick, dude. Jamar Chase. I love the Joe Burrow, personally. Maybe we'll have a little debate later. Do you like the Flash or the Alt-White? I mean, imagine doubling up. Imagine doubling up. Well, we mentioned the Bears and how you'd love to see Brian Erlacher. How about the Packers? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Little swerve, I guess. Uh, James Lofton. James Lofton. Solid hit here. I think he was a listed headliner in the last Jersey series. Tells you how good this one is. Hall of Fame 03 inscription for James Lofton, NFC North. Three spots in the break. Steven Linhard, congratulations. Still have not heard from Steven. No idea what his uh, favorite team is. So I don't know if he likes this or not, but I hope he does. James Lofton, I mean, a great player in his own right. Hall of Fame already gets that for you. But, I mean, when you have eight Pro Bowls to go along with it and a Hall of Fame career in the 90s, it's not bad. I think if you're a Packers player on offense in like the late 90s, early 2000s, you, you're probably a pretty good chance of having a pretty good career. I'm an underrated guy, actually. He's got a lot of yards. A lot of yards. 14,000 yards yeah. to be exact. 75 <laughs> touchdowns. Long career. Nine with the Packers, four with Buffalo, two with the Raiders. Uh, even spent a year in Philadelphia. So, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, he led the league in yards per reception twice. I mean, yeah, he's 12th all-time in receiving yards. If you look at the top 15 guys, you kind of you forget about him a little bit, but top 15 all-time. And, then, you know, not a passing error like today. Right? That's a beautiful autograph. Mm -hmm. It does beg the question, though. He's, what did you say, 14th? 14th all-time. 14th all-time? No, I think it might have been higher. All of those wide receivers that are in the NFL today, it's like how many of those are actually going to end up uh, ahead of him? 12th. 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 12th yeah. all-time. It's crazy. Apollo, it's going to happen, man. It is going to happen. Packers are a hot team. Oh, yeah. We get some crazy good Packer items, honestly. We do. Uh, you're going to win a Packer item. I believe in you. And I know this because I have told two other customers, just be patient. You will win your team. Mm -hmm. And I remember Chris Knowles won himself a, uh, a ripped Ram Kurt Warner. He had been waiting for a Ram for like a month and finally hit and hit in about the biggest way you could. Incredible ripped speed flex of Kurt Warner. That was insane. Yeah, that thing was crazy looking. And then uh, Craig Crenshaw, he was like, all I want is Fran Tarkenton and I can't <laughs> hit Fran Tarkenton. And he finally did it in a Diamond Series. Hit a Fran Tarkenton, full-size, authentic, old-school-looking Viking lid. So you're going to hit a Packer, man. It's just a matter of when, not if. Too much Packer stuff, too. Like, meaning they're, you're going to hit one eventually. My personal favorite is actually the uh, all the sidekicks of Brett Favre that we get. Yeah. The, like, quintuple signed with uh, Andre Risen, Antonio Freeman, Robert Brooks, all those guys. That's a really sick helmet. Got that down now. Almost. I, I still think I'm forgetting somebody. <laughs> I'll never forget Mr. Uh, Mr. Ron's Richard's face. Well, I guess not his face, but his words. <laughs> his words of disappointment when I couldn't name them all. All right. Caught up on the breaks for now, folks. So we might head over to the Ultimate Autographs Live break page and do a quick little top to bottom rundown because I think we're going to get the best series in the room coming up Ooh, yeah. very, very shortly here. And I'll show you why. There's the live link if you guys want to play. That is where you go if you want to play along and see everything we're seeing. That's how you get to it. Two to go in our first diamond double. The first one of the entire series, not just the show. Already showed these off, and I'll ask the question again. I'll ask you, Alex, and everybody else. Between the Bengal lids, that Jamar Chase Flash Authentic or the Joe Burrow Alt-White Authentic, both with orange ink, let's take the name out of it for now. Would you rather have the Jamar Chase style or the Joe Burrow style? Ooh. 
Do you like the flash more, or do you like the alt white? I think I like the alt white. We might have a chance to see. Might have a chance to see. Diamond double just filled up. All right, we'll probably do that first then, before the top to bottom. But let me know, guys, which one do you like more, the flash or the alt white? And honestly, which one do you like more between Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase? Because listen, I hype up Jamar Chase a lot, and it's for a good reason, I think. You look at this guy's career so far, and it's just like, he's missed time, and he's still amongst the leaders in receiving yards. His quarterback gets hurt, misses times. He's got a backup that hasn't played a snap in the NFL. Yep. He's still amongst the leaders in receiving yards. When they put it all together, when Joe Burrow has a healthy season and Jamar Chase has a healthy season start to finish, this is, if not the best wide receiver in the NFL, a top three wide receiver in the NFL, in my opinion. That's how good Jamar Chase is. Valerie said, Burrow, white for sure, all white for sure, says Chris. Chase Helmet for me says, Adam, that's the beauty of it. Everybody can have differing opinions. The other beauty of it, in this specific that specific instance with the double box break, it might not even matter. You can get them both. Mm -hmm. If you get the AFC North, you can get the Flash, and you can get the Alt-White. You can get Jamar Chase, and you can get Joe Burrow. Same can be said about the Steve Young Chrome Flex and the Deion Sanders, mm -hmm. the Michael Irvin and the Emmett Smith. The Barry Sanders and the Justin Jefferson. The, the It's endless here, man. It is endless. That's not even getting into, like, you know, we've got uh, all these others in the listing where Andre Johnson can be paired with Eddie George. You could throw Marshall Falk potentially in that same conversation. If it's on a Ram, you throw it in the Steve Young, Deion Sanders conversation. The Joe Green gets thrown in with Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow. I mean, it is all over the place. Yeah, your Eagles quad with the Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Don't even, don't even remind me. <laughs> Just slobbering waiting to see that one. Gotta go with Joe, says Sean. Yeah, I'm I'm in agreement with that, but again, that is so opinionated. That mm -hmm. is up to anybody. Can't Di go wrong. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah, they're so good. Both of them are good. I would take either one. Scott Lesser, Pat Rich, Joshua Tisdale. What's up, Josh? Valerie Preventure, Apollo St. Clair, Marcus Tabard, and Jonathan Farrell. By the way, that quintuple signed Packer helmet I was talking about for Apollo, I, I don't I'm not saying it's in there, but it would be a filler hit in a series like this. Ooh. You wouldn't even see it in the photo, in the listing. It would just be hanging out in a series like this. So only the best of the best in the diamonds. Go ahead and drop me two numbers for diamond double number one. Josh says, let's get that NFC East. Ooh. Oh, Josh. Million dollar question. Mm -hmm. For the Cowboys or for the Eagle? <laughs> <laughs> for the Cowboys or for the Eagle, Josh? I'm going to guess Cowboys. I'm also going to guess the Cowboy. All right. Uh, Pat was in there first. You can see it on the timestamp here. Uh, he was in there first with 22. So, Josh, you were in there second with 1 and 30. We can give you 1 or 30. Let me know which one you would like. We're definitely going to do 22. Uh, Josh said in all caps, Cowboys. I knew that it. tracks. That tracks. Listen, they are cool lids. I'll certainly give you that. They are cool lids. Uh, as an Eagle fan, though, I'm certainly looking for the quad sign. <laughs> and he said, LOL, 1. <laughs> all right, 1 will work. Thank you, my friend. Listen, Cowboys fans, Eagles fans, in this break room, we can all coexist and just appreciate good memorabilia. And that's what's great about it. That's fair. That is fair. All right, these mini helmets are certainly in some danger. The big boys are out to play. Uh, we're going to start with 22 because that's what's on the desk. Let's go over here. That Eagles helmet is awesome, though. Would be happy with that. Beautiful, man. That's what it's about. I'll tell you this. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know how long you've been in here, Josh. It's the first time I think I've seen you. Uh, we get a ton of cowboy stuff. Ton of cowboy stuff. If I'm guessing, this is not going to be the last. Those aren't going to be the only two cowboys in the series. There's probably going to be some filler cowboys as well. For Josh, though, he is actually in the NFC South for this break. Marcus Tabard in the NFC North. NFC East goes to Pat Rich. So the cowboy double up. Plus that eagle, you never know. That's the NFC East. Valerie's in the NFC West looking for a little Steve Young Chrome Flex, a little Deion Sanders perhaps, maybe even Marshall Falk. Scott is in the AFC North. That is the Bengal double up, not to mention the Joe Green that can be thrown in there. Apollo St. Clair hanging out in the AFC East. And then Josh Tisdale again in the AFC West. Ooh, fresh diamonds. Let's get it done here in box 22 for Josh, the Emmett Smith box. But it's Tuesday. It's really the Joey Logano box. Mm -hmm. He said third show, fifth break. Well, welcome, my man. Happy to have you. You are playing the right break. I'll certainly tell you that. Guaranteed full-size authentics. You see the headliner list. 
We're hopefully, well, maybe, we'll see if this is a listed headliner. Maybe going to show off exactly what these fillers are all about, too. We are. This is a great hit. It's a great hit. It's a great defensive player. Uh, going to the AFC East. It's Apollo St. Clair with Rodney Harrison. How about that? The Super Bowl 37 or 38? 38 champ and the Super Bowl 11 champ, 9 champ rather. Very nice here on Rodney Harrison. That is beautiful, man. Congratulations, Apollo in the AFC East. Could be looking to double up, by the way, with Tyree Kill. And just like that, it's already the new hit of the show. <laughs> That's how quickly it happens with the Diamonds. Rodney Harrison was great, man. Two Pro Bowls, two All Pros, two Super Bowls for him. Just a kid out of Western Illinois in college. Uh, he's actually from Illinois. Markham, Illinois. I don't know Markham. where that is, but regardless. Great defensive back. Obviously started with San Diego. Joined up with those kind of mid-2000 uh, Patriots team, and that's a good time to be on those mm -hmm. Patriots team. But great hit here for Rodney Harrison. Boy, I lost my whole top screen there for a second. That was cool. <laughs> Josh, I got a couple Cowboys helmets I'd be willing to trade slash sell, says Apollo. There you go. No, no reaction to the Rodney Harrison? <laughs> Beckett certified, by the way, man. Congratulations, one way or another. Maybe you get Tyreek Hill to go along with it. Apollo told us yesterday his uh, father was a big Rocky fan. Oh, so that? that's that's why he's Apollo. I, you know, I kind of figured, but I just thought that might have been uh, yeah. a stretch. He wanted to say Rocky, but he said his grandma said no. <laughs> so Apollo it was. Hi, David. It's just rude. <laughs> it's just rude. I'm not even going to acknowledge he's here. Interesting way to say hi. <laughs> he did say hi as in way up here. Mm -hmm. Like hi. Should have stood up. Here we go. Next box here. Filler to start. The great defensive back. What do we got now? Obviously another full-size authentic. This time around. Huh. It's another great hit. It's another filler. And I mentioned Tyree Kill. I did not mention this guy. How about Thurman Thomas that you can get in the AFC East with the Terminator inscription? Apollo, one spot in the break. That's how you do it. That is how it can happen. I think this is kind of a sign of things to come, Alex. Mm -hmm. Like, we know all of the double-up possibilities that are in this Diamond Series specifically, and we start with a filler double-up. I think this isn't going to be the last one in the Diamonds. Thurman Thomas, I mean, one of the best running backs to ever play the game with that Terminator inscription. Four straight Super Bowls, a huge part of that Buffalo Bill offense. He was incredible, man. Incredible running back. Kind of gets, like, lost He does in the, in the history of running backs. But if you look at the stats, he's if he's not top ten, he's right there. I mean, you he's got an mean? MVP. There's not many people that can say that. Nope, especially not at that position. No. So, Apollo, nice hits, my man. <laughs> we were talking before the show that me, me and Colin are dressed completely opposite. Today. Yeah, right. I he's, have jeans and a long sleeve. He's He's got a... We're showing off the Chicago weather. Yeah, here. you got shorts and the collar. Yep. Matt or uh, Jeff was saying when he came in, it was like 49 degrees yep. outside. Uh, nope. <laughs> when I woke up, it was like in the 70s, so... <laughs> I just went with that. So we're going to put the minis away. Congrats, Apollo from Pat. And they are not dolphins, David, just for the record. They are puffins. 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 Who doesn't love a puffin? Who doesn't like puffins? Apparently David. So let me have joy, man. Let me have joy. So those are the two filler hits in the diamonds, by the way, guys. Uh, 28 boxes left. 13 headliners left. Come and get them. They have cleared out the mini headliners just like that. That's the power of the diamonds. Yep. Morning, everyone, says Gabe. Good afternoon for us, Gabe. But good morning to you. I'm guessing he's a West Coaster. I'm doing a trade with a guy from Hawaii. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. how about that? Yeah, and I was like, oh, nice. So they just had a massive storm down there. Ooh. I, I never know what this means, but Danny always comes in with biggest, and I just assume he means biggest, best show. I don't know. Talking about us, but yes. <laughs> we're going to take it. Appreciate you. All right. 
There's a live break stage, guys. We're going to go in here now and do a quick top to bottom here. True didn't look at the time, LOL. Good afternoon. Ohio here. He just slept in. Uh. Yeah, morning really is just when you wake up, right? Yeah. That's like, uh, I don't know, like when, whenever I say something like, yeah, this happened last night, and I'm talking about like 1.32 in the morning or whatever, and people are like, oh, that's actually technically tomorrow morning or whatever, and I'm just like, dude. Come on. Come on. It's still the night. <laughs> like, geez louise. To me, it's like sun up, sun down. You know what I mean? That's fair. Yeah, once the sun comes up, it's like, all right, now we're talking morning. Mm -hmm. Once the sun goes down, it's like, all right, fine, that's night. Although even so, if the sun goes down at like 7.30 and like, you know, if I'm like, hey, Alex, you want to grab dinner tonight? Let's meet at 7. Yeah. And you're going to be like, oh, I'm calling according to your rules. That's still <laughs> the afternoon. Anyway, <laughs> let's go over here. Enough with that that little side talk. Absolutely not a new day till I wake up. Sweet lid from Dark Wolf. Yeah, man, it's sick. We're already off to four to go on that next diamond double, by the way. Only makes sense. So far in the top to bottom rundown, we haven't even gotten past this break. So oh. I'm going to go ahead and say once again, everything is still available here. That Tyree kill, already the AFC East is hot. Two AFC East hits, Thurman Thomas and Rodney Harrison. The double up for that Chrome Flex, Steve Young and Deion Sanders. Both the Bengals, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, not to mention Joe Green still out there. We got Justin Jefferson that can be paired up with the Barry Sanders. We got the Eagles quad sign, the Michael Irvin, the Emmett Smith all in the NFC East. Marshall Falk, Eddie George, and Andre Johnson. That could all be AFC South or potentially Marshall Falk could be a NFC West. We'll see. Only one way to find out. So that's what's going on there, guys. Again, now we have 28 boxes left. 13 of them are headliners. And uh, this break is moving fast. I'd recommend if you want to get in on number two, you get in right now. But we have time to go to the next one. This is the chase today, guys. The only chase we're going to have here for the noon show is the vault. We have three full-size helmets left. One vault key left, too, by the way. So if you, let's try to get this series closed up at least the single. We're seven to go here in the double. We're four to go in the single. I don't know who has that one spot in the double, but if you're out there, let me know if you want two spots in the single. We can probably move you over, get that to two to way. That way we know for sure we'll have a chase wheel spin. Three to go in the college, by the way. This is a $146 break for the double, guaranteed full size coming out here. And uh, worth the play because in the everything else spot, you can still double up with two authentic headliners. And in my opinion, Two of the bigger authentic headliners, that being Jerome Bettis, the bus on that Notre Dame authentic, and the Josh Allen, maybe the biggest of them all here, on the Wyoming authentic. So two big-time headliners there. We're also still looking for Michael Irvin. That is three photo headliners here in the final eight boxes for the college series. Let's keep it rocking and rolling there. One to go, looking for closer magic in the diamond double. Uh, by the way, it is five to go in the college single, five to go in the diamond single, guys. If you want to play the diamonds for just $90, skip out on the double up opportunities, which is perfectly fine. Getting any sort of full size authentic helmet for 90 bucks is absolutely ridiculous. Throw on an autograph, it's even more ridiculous. Throw on that you know it's going to be a top player, past or present, you're not going to find a better deal in town. Seven to go in the mini helmets. Did one earlier, pulled the TJ Hawkinson and the uh, Chris Johnson. So we're still looking for Earl Campbell and Roger Craig in our final seven boxes. Let's try to get that knocked off. New mini helmets on the way once we get that up and out of here. We're going for another diamond double, it looks oh, yeah. like, next. Uh, so last but not least, very quickly, we did one jersey. I believe it was a Packer filler in James Lofton, who, again, was a listed headliner, I believe, last time. So this jersey series even a step above the last one. 15 left, seven headliners left. It's about a 50% chance. Still looking for A.J. Green, Antonio Gates on the best jersey in the game, the powder blue. We got Eric Dickerson on that old school Ram. We got Brian Erlacher. And then in the listing, we're looking for Robert Mathis, Joe Theismann, and Drew Bledsoe. All three of the listed headliners still there. I'm still in shock that I got the military bow. Oh, you got that sick one? That was nice. I was hoping I was going to pull it, but it did end up going last night. Congratulations, man. That is... Next level. That thing is crazy. Three-tone military hydro with all the stickers on the back. Check out Social Dark Wolf. It's definitely on there. There's no way that didn't make the hit video. By the way, that uh, Chrome Flex, whoever wins that, no way that's not making the hit video. What's up, Zosky Claudia? First time in the room. Let me know if you are out there, Zosky. We got Jonathan Farrell in here again. Pat Rich with a healthy amount of spots. Jake McGraw and Ryan Murray. Welcome in, guys. Drop me two numbers for diamond double number two. 
This is only a 30 box series, so we're already four in. Ooh. You know, 26 are going to be left after this. Mm -hmm. Only two fillers gone so far, and they're both on the desk. They dethroned the mini headliners right away. Uh, very good chance this diamond double might dethrone both of these as well. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. So if you guys want to call them, let me know. Zoski, let me know if you're out there, by the way. Let me know your team, how you heard about Ultimate Autographs. In the meantime, guys, Alex has already got another double up there ready to go. And then we're three to go in the uh, the college double. So that'll be coming up sooner rather than later as well. Three to go in the diamond single, too. Three to go in the diamond single. That'll be coming up very soon. Probably another diamond double. I mean, diamond should be the hot break, I would mm -hmm. think. Freshest series in the room. Every headliner still available. And the names are massive. The double ups are crazy. Should be having fun. Question is, are we going to go to the wheel here oh, for I the first not. time? Waiting on... Uh, Jonathan, waiting on Zosky, Pat, Jake, Ryan. If anybody's got two numbers, I'll give you guys a couple more seconds. Otherwise, we'll we'll do a little spin of Rooney on the wheel. It's making me watch ads on the wheel. See, I'm already not a fan. <laughs> I think we're going to the wheel, Alex. Last call. <laughs> Anticipation. Okay, to the wheel. <laughs> Two numbers. Firstly, the Denny Hamlin box. It'll be number 11. Take that off real quick. Spin it again. Second one will be the... Whatever number 25 is in NASCAR box. <laughs> Take that off the ticket real quick. Stay right here. Put you guys into the randomizer. Apollo, in a perfect world, they're going to get shipped out tomorrow. Either tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. We do shipping Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. However, recently we have been a little bit more behind on shipping. So I would look forward either at the end of the week, hopefully, or early next week for you, my friend. But it should be getting shipped out tomorrow. We do it every other day during the week. So 11 and 25 coming up via the wheel. For this one, though, after nine clicks, Pat is grouped, man. Three of his all together here. NFC North, NFC South, NFC East. Some good spots, obviously, with uh, the Barry Sanders, the Jay Jettas, the Eagles quad, the two Cowboy lids out there. Jake McGraw in the NFC West, though, looking for a Steve Young and a Deion Sanders double up. Pat Rich, AFC North, looking for the two Bengals and the Joe Green. A lot of opportunity here for Pat Rich. Ryan Murray in the AFC South. Andre Johnson, Eddie George, Marshall Falk, potentially. Zosky AFC East looking for Tyree Kill. And then we got Jonathan Farrell in the AFC West. Here we go with the Denny Box. I messaged your email, still haven't received tracking from last week, Wentz, says Gabe. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're a little bit behind. I would, uh, are you talking about our customer service email? Because make sure you reach out to that one specifically. Yeah. Otherwise, we won't see it. But you can also call the number there. I'll drop in those links after we do this break as well. But like I said, we have been a little bit behind with shipping. We're starting to catch back up. We've gotten a little bit more help down there. Boy, this is sick too. I'll tell you what. This guy was incredible in college. Incredible in college. Now that Tyler Lockett's out of the equation, I think Jackson Smith and Jigba is about to take a big step up in production. I don't even know Tyler Lockett's gone. Yeah, he gone. Where he gone. Know? I don't know. But he gone. <laughs> Jackson Smith and Jigba, NFC West, one spot. Jake McGraw could be the start of a beautiful little double up for you, my friend. But uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba has so much talent. You know what I mean? All the talent in the world to do incredible things in the NFL. On a beautiful standard, by the way. I love the feathers that go on this thing. The green ink is just the perfect match for it, too, going with the eye. Just a really sexy looking lid. Very slick for Jake. Is he still there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jerry sent still a beast. I thought he was gone for some reason, but yeah, I, I think he's still going to get more production overall. Yeah, second year, a wide receiver really starts to boom. It's not often a wide receiver really just goes for like 1,500 yards in the rookie year. Don't know if that's ever even happened, but uh, I mean, he had a good start. To <laughs> if his it did, year. it was, it was <laughs> uh, what's his face? Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson or Jamar Chase. Yeah, I think Jefferson has the rookie record for most yards in a single season. 
Whatever, so whatever that is. Puka's got it now, I think, right? Oh, Puka. Did he break it? I think he did most. It, he might have broken it. You might be right. He was, I think, I think he was right there if he I did. I think he broke it and they took him out of the game right away. And Bay's like, get him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not get that guy in. The center stripes are supposed to be feathers. I can't believe I didn't notice that. I thought it was just a cool design. Yeah, feathers. We we didn't know that either. We actually had yeah. some Seahawks fans. Uh, it's kind of funny. I mean, you can attest to this more than anybody. You've been here as long as I have. Um, we get, like, different waves of customers. Like, we'll get a bunch of Steelers fans at once, then a oh, yeah. bunch of Niners fans. We got a bunch of Seahawks fans for a yeah. second. And they informed us that, yeah, it is all uh, it is all feathers that goes across the top there. It's really cool. Yeah, Puka broke it, and then it's Bill Groman, and then it's Chase and Jefferson. Oh, interesting. I yeah. thought it was Chase for some, or so, Jefferson that had so it. So Jefferson had 1,400. Chase had 1,455. Some other guy, Bill Groman, had him. Groman. Yeah, he, he got above them, and then Puka broke it last year. What, so what did Puka have? 1,486. So nobody's had 1,500 yet. Nobody's had 1,500. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Jackson Smith and Jigbo was, I mean, he was a top prospect out of college, and he got a lot more production at the end of the year. Yeah. So I, I think they've got big plans for him. Oh, yeah. Uh, another filler, though. Haven't seen a headliner yet, Alex. I want to grab these Cincy helmets. I got the jerseys already. Hop in, brother. Oh, my God. This could be... It is. We do have a secondary headliner. Okay. We do have a Ryan Murray win. We got the great Andre Johnson. Texan authentic coming out here. Ryan Murray, congratulations on Andre Johnson. Another underappreciated guy. This guy, yes. he was a stud for years. Jeez. He just happened to be on the Texans. Yeah, right? I mean, he had, what, uh, Matt Schaub, David Carr throwing yeah. him the ball, which... Yeah. You know, all due respect to those guys, they did have a couple of good seasons, but how many of those couple of good seasons was because Andre Johnson was his wide receiver? I'm willing to bet a decent amount. Uh, Andre Johnson is a beast. One of the best wide receivers of the 2000s. Best offensive player the Texans have ever had, dot, 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 so far. Uh, yeah. That is probably about to change. C.J. Stroud certainly looks like the real deal. Stephon Diggs is over there now. The Texans are real, man. The Texans are real. But my man Andre Johnson walked so those guys could run. You Big know time. what I mean? So that's awesome. Uh, I'm guessing it did, Gabe, because we did this one first. This was our first jersey break today, and I don't see your name on it, so I'm yeah, guessing like they must have did it last night. Yeah, you were in the live break number two last night. That did get closed. Yeah, let us know if you want if Alex or if you want Alex to tell you the result. But uh, you can go back on YouTube and find that show. Yeah. Find live break number two, and you can watch it go down. But it, it did happen last night. It looks like. Yeah, that was one by Adam Christensen. Won a Ricky Waters jersey. Imagine pulling either Burrow and Chase or Young and Sanders in the same drop. That would be awesome for someone. Dude, we, we've seen that happen before. I, I'm trying to think. Like, I always try to think of, like, the craziest I've seen. I mean, I know, uh, you know, throwback to Ronnie and Salako. I think he won three out of four or maybe even I four out of four. I think four out of four. It was three Cowboys, and then he won, uh, I think, a Joe Theismann. Yeah, four out of four on a diamond quad, which is crazy. Uh, but I remember, I think it was, what was his name, William Adams? He got, who was it? I'm trying to remember now. Like, Dan Marino and Tom Brady in the same break in the AFC mm. East. Like, that was insane. We, we've had some insane moments, man. I think we... And like I said, dude, with all the double ups in this one, I would not be surprised to see something like that happen. Yeah, I think there was maybe a Brady Allen double that might have happened. There might have been a Manning Mahomes one time. Oh my God, that the AFC be, South. That would be insane. Oh, the AFC West, uh, I've Denver. Already, I've already wrote this up. Denver Manning. Denver Manning. So that was our first headliner. It was a listed headliner. Yeah. So 12 headliners left, 26 boxes left. And two, four, six, eight, nine photoed headliners still out there. So let's keep it rolling, guys. So far, uh, untouched in that double box break. Three to go in the single box break. So I'm going to drop in our two closest breaks here, guys, uh, starting with this diamond, because that just seems to make sense at this point. Three to go in that diamond single. Again, every single photoed headliner is still available. Every one of them. Tyree Kill, Chrome Flex, Steve Young, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Jay Jettas, the Eagles quad, again, those are the quarterbacks. Donovan McNabb, Michael Vick, uh, Ron Jaworski, and Randall Cunningham. Deion Sanders, Michael Irvin, Barry Sanders, and Emmett Smith. 
that's, all still there. That's what's missing up here. Someone didn't write Eagle Squad. Oh, it's even better. So it's ten. Yeah. So, so someone knew you were hosting today and decided not to write it on. That's it. unbelievable. Who would do that to me? So it's yeah, that, that checks out. Ten in twenty six right now. I just photoed headliners. Gets even better when you throw in Eddie George, Marshall Falk, and Mean Joe Green. So yeah, it's actually thirteen and twenty six right now for a yep. headliner. Exactly fifty percent. Exactly fifty percent. I say because Diamond Series normally at least it's like ten to twelve ish. I thought nine was a weird number. Yeah. But so I was like, wait a second, what, what's what's missing up there? The other one I'm throwing in, guys, is that college double again. Three spots to go. Josh Allen, Jerome Bettis, full size authentic, still out there. You can double that up in the everything else category. Obviously, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Excuse me, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL today, Josh Allen. And then uh, Jerome Bettis, who is one of the best running backs of all time, no question. On, in my opinion, the most classic college lit, even though I'm not a Notre Dame fan. Uh, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish authentic is beautiful. And, of course, we're still looking for Michael Irvin on that Miami Knights helmet as well. Three photoed headliners, three authentic headliners left in the final eight boxes for the college. But so far, the Diamonds have kind of been the story. Jackson Smith and Jigba, Rodney Harris and Thurman Thomas and Andre Johnson are hit so far. And all of those, one listed headliner and Andre, and the rest just filler hits. So let's keep it rolling there. Do you know who's in that vault double? Ooh, that would be... Scott, uh... Did you just, did you just hit me with the, the I did, Jeopardy? I did. <laughs> Who is it? Sorry. Scott Leeser. Scott Leeser. Let me know if you're out there. L-E-S-S-E-R. Let me know, Scott, if you are out there. Be happy to transfer your uh, one spot from the double into two into the single. That put it two away. Get us closer to doing maybe a chase wheel spin here I for the vault. I didn't tune into this last night, but I did get the alerts. How about the WNBA draft? I was just about to say that, Alex. Great mind speak alike. Chicago alive. Sky doubling up with Angel Reese I'll tell and you the what. girl from South Carolina. How about yeah. that? I might have to go to some games. I mean, my God. It's it's hilarious because... Twin Towers. Last year, yeah, the Sky had great perimeter. Mm -hmm. And they were, like, next to last in the league in rebounding, defense, uh, interior defense. Now they get Angel Reese, <laughs> who is, like, known for that. She gets, you know, 15 yeah. boards a game. And... Uh, Carduso, I think's her name. Yeah. Or, yeah, she is just... I mean, you, you saw what she did to Iowa in oh, the championship oh, game yeah. and the whole six, tournament. 6-7. Seven. <laughs> seven. For women's basketball, that is massive. Oh, yeah. Massive. Definitely a surprise, a big shocker on the number one overall pick. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. The Fever decided on Caitlin Clark. Who's that? For some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I, bizarre choice yeah. for me, but yeah, they went with Caitlin Clark. And uh, I love... I saw the video of all the players. They were at, uh, I'm guessing, Banker's Life. And uh, they they were all waiting, you know, watching on the Jumbotron, and they picked Caitlin Clark, and all the her te future teammates now are just going crazy. Yeah. They've already got the Caitlin Clark jerseys on. Uh, it, it was it was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's – David said, did you know those two girls have been playing against each other since middle school? They have been. They've yeah, been like – Yeah, other teammates. Yeah. I know they were going at it earlier this season in the, and that's what, in uh, the SEC tournament. Angel Reese said, thank God I finally get to play with her <laughs> yeah, and not yeah. against her. They're, they're going to be crazy. They supposedly don't get along. Well, they better they're change that, too. Yeah, because they've yeah. always had to play against each other. Now they get to play together. It's yeah, awesome. hopefully it's more of that mutual respect. Like, hey, and that's what Angel Reese has said. I know we've talked about this now at length, but yeah. Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark both have said this, where everything they do, that competitive spirit, you know, the, the, the join, yeah. it's all on the court. So I think for the better of their team, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese have always been about their teammates, too. I think they'll get along just yes. fine. And especially since they're playing for a franchise that, as far as WNBA basketball, is pretty, you know, storied. One of the best ones top, yeah. near the top. I mean, obviously the Aces have been running the show here for the last couple of years. The Liberty right behind them. But I think the Sky certainly shook things up a little bit. You never know. The Caitlin Clark effect in Indiana. That's two first-round picks in a row. First overall picks for Indiana now. They might flip the whole thing upside down. Yeah. There are some people that are saying it's a completely different game. Caitlin Clark's going to have an adjustment period, whatever yeah, else. That's all the, the old heads now. Yeah, say, I think that's guys. hearsay, bro. I'm pretty sure Caitlin Clark's going to come in there. And, I, think she, I'm, I mean, yeah. she might not be the best player of the league year one. She'll be pretty good. People said the same thing about Victor Wembanyama too. Oh, it's like, oh, he's yeah. playing a lot more physical basketball. Down. Like, it's not. No. Mm -hmm. When you're different, you're different. And uh, she is her. There's no doubt. No, she's not trying to throw hands no. at anybody. <laughs> 
Possibly. I don't, she's... Nah. She, she... Well, there was a bit... Let's temper flare There was actually a, a fight with LSU in South Carolina, and she wasn't a part of it. Let's not... I mean, Caitlin Clark threw a hissy fit in the NCAA tournament. I mean, that video of her dad going, stop. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, put her on the bench. He's yeah, good. like, it, she, she can get worked up, too. I think Angel Reese does tend to kind of push it more towards her opponent, where I think Caitlin Clark's a little bit more mad at herself. But they're both intense players and competitive players. Did you see the video, too? It was, like, the uh, the pre-show or whatever. They're talking about the draft. And I guess, like, it's for TV, but then it's also the mics are hooked up to the sound system. And the so they're literally talking about Caitlin Clark. Mm-hmm. And, like, they got the camera on her, and, like, Caitlin's just sitting there or whatever. And the woman's, like, and she has to sit there and pretend like she can't hear every single word we're saying right now. <laughs> and, like, Caitlin Clark just smiles. And I'm, like, that's so funny that they're literally talking about her. And the camera's on her, and she's just, like, uh, like what am I supposed to do? Oh, oh, the one from Brazil. Ah, I got you. Yeah, Cardoso, she's from Brazil. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured you were talking about, but... No, it's a similar thing, just on the court. I think, yeah, I mean, who was it? David said they've been playing against each other since middle school. Yeah, and, and I'm they're sure... they're the two, like, taller girls, both bigs, so they always have, to, always have to guard each other, go up against each other. Yeah, it'd be like if, I don't know, hypothetically speaking, Alex and I grew up together, and you went to a different high school, and, like, we yeah. were both tennis players, yeah. and we were in the same, you know, doing whatever, play tennis against each other all the time. Now we're playing we'd probably, Yeah, we'd <laughs> probably hate each other on the court, but when we get to work, you know, and we're yeah. playing doubles together on the weekends, we're fine, you know? Now we enjoy it. But on the court, it was it was about winning, and I didn't like when you would beat me, and you didn't like when I would beat you kind of thing. I think Caitlin Clark, or excuse me, Angel Reese and uh, Cardoso are the same way. But yeah, it's exciting. I think all of that excitement that was in the women's tournament, you know, all of the buzz that was generated, a lot of those girls, it's like a perfect balance, right? Because a lot of those girls are going to the pros, joining some already big names there, obviously with Sabrina Nescu and Kelsey Plum and Aja Wilson, uh, not to mention Brianna Stewart, you know. Uh, all of that mixed together is going to be great for the league, but then you still got Paige Beckers coming back. Yeah. You've got... Uh, uh, Juju, Watkins. Juju Watkins, thank you. Like, there's still some fresh blood, some great stuff happening in women's college basketball, which is great. So, I'll never beat Latino Heat <laughs> in anything. He did win the Masters pool, so I shout did, out I there. I, I just, Scotty Scheffler was the obvious, you know, one choice. Yeah, I mean, there were I, people I that I didn't pick him, him, which is crazy. Um, yeah. Were people trying to get the worst score? I don't I know. I thought it was going to be. Dom didn't pick him, and this is true. He heard from an inside source that he was going to... Oh, leave because his kid. If he yeah. had a kid, he was. He and said he, he was going to leave. Yeah, he said even in that last round, if he was winning, he didn't care where he was. If he got the call that she was going into labor, yeah. he was out. So I mean, so that, but that was worth the risk. The big one was Homa, and I just know Max Homa because he goes on part of my take and listen to that podcast. So I was like, I'll, I'll <laughs> I go love with Max, Max Homa. At the end, that's who I was rooting for to win. Yeah. I mean, at that point, I picked Wyndham Clark, who I really thought was going to be a sleeper in the whole mm-hmm. thing. He ended up getting out, but. It was a tough course, man. I mean, I think there was only, like, seven people under par or something crazy yeah, like that. Yeah. So, uh, played tough, but good job, Alex. Gets a healthy amount of Chipotle now, which is great. Yeah. Gets great. To take the girlfriend out to Chipotle, and there uh, we go. Girls love Chipotle, I feel like. Maybe yeah. not. My girl actually doesn't like Chipotle that much. Uh, you burrito or bowl guy? I, I told you this off. I used to work there. Mm-hmm. So, I got all the hacks, right? I mean, I don't know how to roll a burrito, so... Yeah. The move is, and I've said this on the air oh, before, too. Get the too, tortilla on the side. Get the tortilla on the side. Because they give you so much more in the bowl than they do yeah. in the burrito. Because there's only so much you can put in the burrito to roll. Yeah. They could just fill up the bowl as much. And they'll give you as much rice, toppings, sure. or whatever else. Sure. So, yeah, get a bowl. Get the tortilla on the side for, like, 60 cents or whatever it is. Or just have tortillas at home. Take the bowl home. Even better. Even be- I, I do like their tortillas, doing- though. I, I literally have a Chipotle across the street from my apartment. That's so. that's the hack, dude. That's going to be the hack. And the, I, I can teach you how to fold. It's really easy to roll it if you don't already know. It's pretty simple. Theirs are really pliable, too. That's what's nice. Like, oh, yeah. They put it on that press, ready to go. Like, yep. Yeah, that's the look. So I get a bowl, but I make a burrito, and then mm-hmm. I keep half the bowl, and I've got a bowl for later. You get two meals for, like, 15 bucks. Because I'll get chips and a drink. And take, I'll else. take it from the insider. Yeah, there you go. Let me know if you need the recipe for... Uh, <laughs> Uh, quesarito or whatever else. I've got you there, too. <laughs> uh, just between first drink collector, what's the benefit of each tier? Great question. Let's talk about it real quick, and then we'll probably do another top-to-bottom rundown. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to drop this in the link, guys. If you're not already a part of the SIG Club like Apollo is, make sure you get in. It's really easy. You just hit join now or log in if you've already got an account with us. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it spells it out a little bit. Obviously, create your account, earn the points, redeem the points. You get 25 points per dollar. So, I mean, you buy a... I don't want to do the math, but $90, which is a diamond helmet spot, 
90 times 25, you're already getting that many points applied to what you're doing. Not to mention you get $100 or 100 points for TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, just following us on all those platforms, subscribing to us on YouTube. You can rack up points really quick. So Apollo just earned first string collector, which is actually a free jersey break spot in the live break room. So Apollo, what should happen is whatever email you use to sign up, you should get an email with a code from us. I, it, usually, it usually hits pretty quick. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer, but you get an email from us and uh, you apply that once you check out with one jersey break spot. Then it should subtract the cost, make it zero. You get into that jersey break absolutely free. So he's our, Apollo just started like a couple days ago and he's already at 30,000 points. Like that's how quickly you can rack up points. His next one's going to be a free replica helmet break spot, which actually we don't have any rep breaks in the room right now. We just kind of turn that into like a $45, $49 gift card, whatever it is. Uh, but a $50 gift card. And then like eventually though, when you get to the back end of this, man, you're going to get a free mini personal. Literally, you can pick a number from the series right now. And maybe you call the Earl Campbell box. You get that absolutely free free yep. zero dollars that, that and we'll show, go over the value here in a second because you also got a free replica helmet we do have a replica helmet for just personal series that's up you get one of those absolutely free at five hundred fifty thousand. the biggest one is the go package man you get a headliner package that means you get a jersey a mini a rep and an authentic you get all those for free and they were all headliners within the last month here in the ultimate autographs live break room it's a pretty awesome get and all you have to do is play. This part is absolutely free. So if you're not a part of it, make sure you sign up, you get in for the SIG Club. But we do offer personals here, guys. Uh, hey, brother, first stream collector. Yeah, you guys are forming a little commune. Y'all got to move up together, right? Uh, but as you can see here, we've got all of our personals up as well. A headliner package, we value at $1,800. So, I mean, you're going to get that for free, an $1,800 value. Same with the mini helmet one, $175 value uh $345 value for reps and then 175 I don't think we have a jersey one but you get the point this is uh it's pretty awesome and uh excuse me Alex just put it in the chat one to go in that college double guys a chance to get Josh Allen and Jerome Bettis in the very same break two to go in that diamond single you can win any of these photo headliners they're all still there man every single one of these still there the Barry Sanders New School Salute, uh, the Eagles Quad Sign, uh, the Emmett Smith Camo, the Steve Young Chrome Flex, which, by the way, we got a little video of that right here. Look how beautiful. The red visor just really makes it, right? Oh, yeah. The does. all gold with the red to pop. It's just, it's just gorgeous. The Niner fans, come and get it. I know that's what my man, uh, Mr. Powers, where's he at? I haven't seen Powers yet in the break room. No, he's a big Niner fan. They get that college double filled up. Bang, never mind. <laughs> My code never worked for the mini, says Valerie. Let me put this in the chat because I know somebody was asking earlier about customer service. Uh, if you never redeemed it, Valerie, you should just be able to contact customer service. They'll delete the old code and just send you a brand new one, and it should work. So for anybody that's having issues about anything, whether it's shipping, uh, orders, problems with Alex specifically, because that tends to happen a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you go right there. Just email that. Uh, Luke is pretty good at getting back to everybody pretty quickly. And I think, uh, at least from your guys' peer review, he does a pretty good job of being pretty fair and compromising and getting you guys what you want. He's also in-house right now. I don't know if he's at lunch or anything. But uh, if you don't want to email, if you're rather, like, directly on the phone, boom, you can just call that number. And uh, you should pick up. We'll see. I found my codes in rewards history page. Ah. It should be in your... Uh, oops. Oops. It should be in your uh, email as well, though. But I guess that is a place you can find it. Rewards history works as well. So you could check that out. Sometimes it goes to spam a lot of times. Uh, junk, whatever else. So yeah, there you go. Make sure you check everything. He's all right, Valerie. Let's not, let's, let's not get his ego up too big for, for Luke. You know, he's, he's okay. He's serviceable. He's pretty good. All right. He's, uh, <laughs> he's awesome. All right. Jeez. I just, every day I live with the fact I'll never be Luke. Anyway, <laughs> pretty much. I think every every host and producer kind of wakes up that feeling that same. Mm -hmm. I got to go to work today, and everyone's gonna praise Luke. Yep. Makes perfect sense, really. <laughs> LOL.
Let's take our minds off that with a college double. We got Steven Lenhart in here. Scott Lesser. Okay, so Scott is out there. This is the guy that's in the vault double, right? Or am I crazy? Yes, yes. So, Scott, if you are out there, let me know, and we can flip your vault. Because right now it's seven away in that vault double. There's no headliners left. If you want to get two spots in the single, we'll probably get this vault chase done and at least get eight names in there. So, Scott, let me know if you're cool with that. Otherwise, you did pay for the spot. The double's got to fill, hypothetically speaking. So, there you go. Uh, Cody Adams and Jake McGraw. Appreciate the close, Jake. Thank you, Cody. Drop me two numbers for college. Double number one. For some reason, anything not related to order goes to my promotions folder, which I kind of find odd. I, I don't know. That's weird. The rewards emails in my spam. Got it. Yeah, that's. It, sometimes it goes to the spam. Good call, Apollo. Yeah, looking at that. Promotion folders. I don't know how that works with Gmail or not. Cause like with the, some of my betting apps, it does the same thing. It just goes to the oh, promotion really? folder. Interesting. So I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> if you think Luke is great, look at the boy with the corner office, Latino Heat. Ooh. Wow. How does he know about your office? I don't did you, know. Did you tell him? I think he might be spying, but uh, <laughs> not 100% for sure. Yeah, he Alex, it out. Alex wasn't going to take the job originally, and then that sweetened the pot with that corner office. And yeah. Boy, he lit up like a Christmas tree. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, numbers, anybody? Steven, Scott, Cody, or Jake? I don't know if I... I think Jake said awesome about one of his hits. Other than that, I don't think I've heard from any of these guys in the no. chat yet. So this might be another uh, randomizer situation. Only eight boxes left. We do have a diamond on deck, which is always nice. <laughs> Not the corner office, the corner stall. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I got, got the a... corner stall. You got the corner garbage. Go to the wheel, says Jake. All right, that's what we're going to do. We also had a, we have a couple personals, too. I forgot about that. So Brandon Felmley, if you're out there, too, let us know on a couple numbers for your uh, jersey personal. This right. is his first-time customer. So let me know if you got it. If not, uh, we'll probably keep reminding you. We'll bring it back up in the 3 p.m. show. Yep. Pass it along to the guys at 6. If not, they're going to open it at the end of the night. All right, so we're going to go We're gonna go to the randomizer, unless you want to go to the wheel. I'm just saying, like, there's only eight numbers. It's going to be a little weird. One, two, eight, 12, 15, 20, 25, and 29. The band knows how to negotiate. I remember when all he did was late nights with the Grumpster. <laughs> that was Friday nights with Common. That's right. I don't. I don't think you had a lot of late nights with the Grumpster. No, I did not. Sadly, I did not. Oh, it's Luke. Yeah. Oh, he wants oh, it in, in the vault. So you want the two spots. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> Maybe his chats aren't going through, but Scott, if you're watching right now, I guess you can hear us through Luke and here. We will put you with those two spots. Thank you, Luke. You're getting compliments in the chat, by the way. Valerie said, quote, you're awesome. He doesn't care, Valerie. See, I told you he's not that great. He just walked off in shame. Shame. He's kind of on the phone. We'll do one in 20. All right, cool. So that'll be two away, and then we can probably just take the vault double down. Yep, took it down. Nice. That was a first. <laughs> that was a first. I've never had that happen before. So Scott's going to get moved over. We're going to be two away now on the uh, vault single. I wonder if it, maybe his chats just aren't going through for some reason. Maybe not. We got it blocked already. <laughs> I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't think so. What was it me, unless it was Headliner Robbie? <laughs> he said hi and was just like, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scott, for this break, is going to be up there in the Big Ten. No Big Ten headliners left, but it is a popular division, uh, conference rather. Steven has the Big 12 and the ACC. He's looking for the uh, Michael Irvin. And then we've got Jake McGraw in the Pac-12, who won in the randomizer. So we'll see what happens there. And then Cody Adams, SCC, and everything else. Big spot in that everything else. Looking for Jerome Bettis and Josh Allen. Only going to be six boxes left after this, by the way. And we're going to do... What numbers are we doing? I already, for, I already forgot. One and... Whatever is between 15 and 25. Oh. Let me go take a peek. Oh, you got it. He's got it, everyone. He's got it. Alex is a professional. We have 15 and 25. Do you have anything in between 15 and 25? 20. 20. I just know where my cursor was on the on the ticker thing. Oh, I was right ticker. in between 15 and 25, so I was like, I must have deleted something between there. All right, so 1 and 20 coming up. 
We got the Ross Chastain box and the uh, Christopher Bell box. Here we go. Three photo headliners left in the college. This one's not going to be one of them because we got a rep helmet. The three photoed are authentics. Which means I might need help with conferences. Although I was pretty good yesterday. Oh boy. I'm going to have to look this one up. I'm going to have to look this guy up. Oh yeah. I'm guessing he's a current college player. But maybe not. Oh no, he's definitely not. Okay. Alright, alright. Got an old school hit here. Old school defensive tackle out of the U. Two-time national champion, by the way. That's Russell Maryland. Two-time natty for Russell Maryland. Drafted by the Dallas Cowboys, not just in the first round. First overall. Ooh, how about that? Yeah, 1991 draft for him. Ended up winning three Super Bowls as well. Two college titles for this guy. Three Super Bowl titles for this so guy I'm as well. I'm guessing Jimmy Johnson coached him. He's like, all right, I'm going to take him number one. Yep, worked out. ACC, Steven, there you go. College legend and pro legend at that. Yeah. JSA certified for Russell Maryland. And I guess if you're going to want him on something, you probably want him on the U helmet. Right? That thing's cool. It's the uh, the shut U helmet. Oh, yeah. Smaller logo, but kind of cleaner looking. Looks a little bit more like what they'd actually wear. Mm -hmm. So, Russell Maryland off the board. We need the U to get good again. Right? College football is just a little more fun. Mm hmm. That or, you know, Illinois just having one successful football season ever. Uh, yeah. There's a big signing happening with a bunch of former Illinois football players. Who? Uh, honestly, the <laughs> only one I know is Juice Williams. Mm. But a lot of them, I'm sure, like, if I looked it up, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. There's, like, 15 guys going or something. For 35 bucks, you can get all their autographs. I know they got a good tackle with how you can go first round this year. Yeah, I can't remember his name, but yeah. They're de generally speaking, over the last few years, their defense has been pretty solid. Yeah, Devin Wood has been the big one for sure. Oh, yeah, he's a stud. He is a stud. I mean, I remember a couple years ago, like, Corey Legit was really good. Yeah. Um, there was another guy, he too. Legit. He was legit. <laughs> 20. I mean, Sidney Brown, he plays for the, uh, the Eagles. He's going to be in their rotation in the secondary. Chase Brown, Chase Brown probably going to get a lot of opportunity this year with Joe Mixon gone. Him and Zach Moss now. I think that's yeah, right? That'll be interesting. I think we're going to have a 50% chance in the college because oh. it is six headliners left, or excuse me, six boxes left, three headliners. This is a rep. Yeah, the U documentaries are really good, the 30 for 30s. Oh, this is kind of a fun filler hit. I've never actually seen a, a physical Prova cert either. That's kind of fun, oh, too. that's new. Yeah, I've not seen the actual physical Prova cert, but there you go. Uh, this legendary coach. How about Lou Holtz on the Notre Dame shut replica helmet with the 88 National Champs inscription. That is everything else. Cody Adams. There you go. Just hiding out there. Just hanging out, Lou Holtz. It's Bob's favorite coach all time. Congratulations, Cody. I mean, legendary coach, though. Yeah. When you're when you're listing off coaches, you know, best all time in college. I think a lot of people have Lou Holtz up there in that list, but some people don't. With that being said, <laughs> I'm trying to think of my favorite thirty for thirties. Because he brought up the U ones, Dark Wolf. The U I actually haven't seen. I like I've been saving Catholics versus convicts, and I still That's haven't watched it. That's a good one. I hate, everyone hates Christian Leitner. One is good. Yeah. I like uh Christian Leitner, I forget what it is. I mean the the Four Falls of Buffalo is really good. Yep. Uh honestly like the the eating contest one, the Joey Chestnut one and the Kobayashi one was pretty good. There's been there's been some good ones, man. They're all pretty cool. I don't think they expire, Apollo. You should be good to go. As long as you haven't used it, I think you're fine. My it's worth a shot. And again, I'm guessing. Literally, if you haven't used it, like, we, we have reports that would show if you used a $10 gift card, you can just talk to Luke, and he'll just send you a new one that works. I'm pretty sure. Anyway. Valley says, oh, that's really nice, right? There's one about, uh, um, God, I can't remember his name. That's bad of me. It was an L He was going to go to Illinois. He was the top recruit in the country in high school, and, like, overdosed on drugs, literally... 
Or no, he got killed, I think. I'm thinking of the guy that overdosed on drugs was going to go to Boston. Oh, Len Bias? Len Bias. You're thinking of Benji Wilson? Benji. That's a good one. That one. That one's really, really sad, good. but Chicago it is. played for Simeon. Yes. That's why he every... got shot, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why every Simeon, like, their best player wore, wore 25. Right, right. So I know that's... I think Kendrick Nunn wore it. Yeah, um, D-Rose, Jabari. D-Rose, Jabari. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really... It's really sad, but it is really good. The Len Bias one, same thing. Really good, really I'll sad. Or, uh, Marino, that one's pretty That fun. one's good, too, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones, man. There's a lot of good ones. Season two's got a lot of good ones looking at this. The Bad Boy Pistons one is really good. Bad Boy Pistons, absolutely. Classic one. Um, the one about um, North Carolina State with uh, Coach V. Oh, That yeah. one's really good, too. Uh, what else is really good is the Diamonds. Oh, yeah. Adam Christensen, Heather Livingston, Pat Rich, Valerie Preventure, Scott Goodrich, and Megan Stoll. Here we go, guys and girls. Drop me a number. Oh, the Celtics-Lakers one. It's like a three-part. That one's good. Best oh, yeah. event in Well, I mean, the, the whole Michael Jordan one. The, what's it called? The Last Dance? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond single number one. Of course, the 85 Bears. Probably... Best Actually, one. like that one a lot too. <laughs> Even as not a Bears fan, it is really good. I like the UFC one, obviously, the one about Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. Oh, that one, yeah. The Huntington just, Beach just Bad the Boy player. and the Iceman. The Vic one's solid. It's a two-parter. Dennis Rodman's. I didn't watch the Lance Armstrong one. We're going with the Patty Mahomes box fifteen from Valerie. The Lance Armstrong one's pretty good too. It's just like, it, it reminds me a lot of baseball, where it was like, everybody, everybody is doing it, and yeah. even more so, I think, than baseball, you are at an extreme disadvantage in cycling if you're not doing it. Do you remember that one Tour de France? I mean, I, I don't pay attention that much to cycling. Maybe somebody else knows exactly the year, but it was like the guy was, the guy that finished like 14th won or something because the other 13 got um, busted for doping. It was unbelievable. Yeah, imagine finishing 13th, and then you're like, oh, you won now. Yeah, <laughs> like, he, he literally was, I think he was outside the top 10, and he won the Tour de France, because everybody else got disqualified, <laughs> disqualified for doping. Long Gone Summer is a good one, absolutely. Uh, Scott Goodrich, NFC North, new customer in the room, might win himself a Barry Sanders or a Justin Jefferson right off the bat. Bill Walton got a four-part series. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> but yes, he did. I do love me some Bill Walton, but why? I, I've only seen two of it, I think. I don't even think I saw the first two. Pat Rich, NFC South. Megan Stoll in the NFC East. Heather Livingston, NFC West. Good spot for a Chrome Flex. Also has the AFC North. Good spot for Burrow or Chase or potentially that Mean Joe Green. AFC South for Megan. Got Eddie George and uh, Marshall Falk, potentially. Valerie in the AFC East. Got a Tyreek Hill out there. And then Adam Christensen, AFC West. Box 15 coming up here. What do we have? No photo headliners off the board yet, Alex. Wild. 13 and 26 chance at a headliner. It's the fifth box right here. We don't have a headliner. Wow. We have another really, really solid filler hit. Would be a headliner. We've seen him as a headliner in jerseys and minis. Honestly, like practice squads, all sorts of stuff. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Keenan Allen there now and then Caleb Williams as his quarterback. But oh. DJ Moore has been a top wide receiver in the NFL for the last, I don't know, four seasons. We got a first customer mojo win here, Scott Goodrich. Let me know if you are out there, my oh, man. man. You just won your first break with a DJ Moore salute to service authentic. Really nice hit here. Chicago Bears offense, I mean, obviously we're in the Chicago area. We've got a lot of Bears fans here. We've got a lot of Packers fans here, which means they're interested in it as well. It's the talk of the town, oh, yeah. the Chicago Bears right now, and what is going to happen. DJ Moore with Caleb Williams at the helm, with Keenan Allen as the number two, and Romo Dunze as the number three. Sounds pretty sure, good man. to me. Oh, I like the sound of that. Fantastic to me. Yeah, even as an Eagles fan, that sounds like a must-see offense, and it's just crazy that it's being put together virtually in the NFL world overnight. You know I, what I mean? I mean, I always liked DJ Moore in Carolina, and then watching him this last year every week, he, he's amazing. It's crazy because, I mean, we talked earlier about, uh, you know, guys like uh, Andre Johnson. We are talking about Andre Johnson. And now, like, Matt Schaub, David Carr were yeah. throwing him the ball. 
seriously, with DJ Moore, nobody was throwing him the football. No, no, and I mean, as much as you might like Justin Fields or not like Justin Fields, he's not an above-average passer. Yeah, and no. And DJ Moore still put up top five stats. And that's what he does. Now you get a guy like Caleb Williams, who is a much better passer, in my opinion. Should be, yeah. Should be. You know, you never know how these guys yeah, are going to turn yeah, out. But, but on paper, looks like be. he should be. I'm excited to see what the Bears are going to bring to the table. And now he gets Keenan Allen to go outside of him, take away some pressure. He gets potentially, like you're saying, Roma Dunes, take away some pressure. He signed Gerald Everett as the number two yeah. tight end. Yeah, Cole Komet's still there. Yeah. The Bears' offense is on paper crazy. Pretty nice. Pretty yep, nice. absolutely. That one brings back memories for me because I watched the battle with my dad. He's a big Mark McGuire fan. Ah, Ooh. see, my dad's a big Sammy Sosa fan. There you go. That was his favorite player. We had both in the break room. Uh, we do get both. Good point. Baseball series and one in four, we've had them. Mm-hmm. Love the salute to service helmet. Fire, right? It's great. We can get a new school one. NFC North, it would still be that hit with Barry Sanders, by the way. Yeah. Unfortunately, saying invalid code. Now, Apollo, reach out to Luke. Well, the worst he can say is no, but I'm pretty sure you'll get a code. I think he'll yeah. give you the 10 bucks. I, I don't want to say for sure. And if he says no, don't be mad at him because I said maybe. I think, though, he'll give you a code. If you say, hey, I missed it, and he can go back and look, and mm-hmm. yeah. I'm making Luke do a lot of work right now. <laughs> but congrats on your first win break, Scott says, uh, Dark Wolf. What? That's why he's the best. That's why he's the best. Gets it all done. Very cool, man. DJ Moore, a filler hit, by the way. We are now better than a 50% chance at a headliner. We are five boxes into the series, and we haven't seen a single photoed headliner come out. The odds are getting mighty, mighty juicy right off the bat here in the Diamonds. Mighty, mighty juicy. Scott Goodrich. Get him written up real quick. First break, first win. Haven't heard from Scott yet, but that's okay. He's going to give himself a nice little mail day. Oh, never mind. I <laughs> found him. Says, thanks, you guys. This is awesome, right? Oh, yeah. $90 for a full-size authentic of one of the best wide receivers in the league? I'm guessing that's Scott. Congratulations, dude. Scott, who is your squad, my man? If it's Bears, that, that is something. If it's Bears, it's really awesome. Regardless, it's really awesome, but... All right, we are going to do another quick little top to bottom, uh, especially since my thing just says zero viewers this whole time. I have no idea who's coming in, who's coming out. So let's just reset this real quick, starting with the diamonds. This double, we're already on our third one. 180 a spot, but guaranteed two full-size authentic helmets coming out. You could double up, and I do mean that in a massive way. Um, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow both still out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're talking about one of the best quarterback to wide receiver duos in the NFL when they are both healthy. We're talking about a team that was literally in the AFC Championship not too long ago. It was in a Super Bowl not too long ago. I mean, this is a solid, solid combo. Two LSU stars. If you're an LSU fan, if you're a Bengal fan, I think these are must-have in your collection. If you're a football fan, they're great. The Jamar Chase on the Bengal Flash and the flat white, alt-white, excuse me, of Joe Burrow with that orange ink. Just so cool. Not to mention there's a mean Joe Green in the listing. Three chances to double up in the AFC North. Speaking of North, NFC North. We just saw that DJ Moore come out. How about the best wide receiver in football, Justin Jefferson, on the Lunar Authentic, paired with, if you like salute to services, I like the new school salutes even better, the best running back to ever play in Barry Sanders. Could get them both in that break. Uh, How about probably the biggest and best one, depending on who you are, the Chrome Speed Flex, Steve Young with the red visor. Speed Flex, Chrome, red visor of the best left-handed quarterback to ever play, Steve Young, mm-hmm. paired with the most electric cornerback to ever play, Deion Sanders. Both San Francisco led. If you are a 49er fan, this is exactly where you should be. Oh, yeah. No question, because that double up is going to be huge, if and when it happens. Cowboys, though, not too bad either. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of these, like, alt black, flat black cowboy lids. Uh, especially when you got the playmaker here in Michael Irvin, paired with his teammate that won all those Super Bowls together, that camo. Can't go wrong with a good camo, especially if you got the Dallas Cowboy star on the front, I guess. Mm. That Emmett Smith, it does look clean, man. You can double up with either of those or sprinkle in a little eagle. Get yourself the McNabb, the Vic, the Jaworski, and Cunningham quadruple signed authentic. You ever heard Robbie say Jaworski? Oh, God. No. What is he Jaworski. Oh, I like that. Ron Jaworski. <laughs> Tyreek Hill out there just for, you know, you know what's and giggles as well. Uh, all of them. I mean, we are over an hour into the show, an hour and 20 minutes into the show. We've done five boxes in the diamonds. We haven't seen any of these yet. Our top hit so far, and all due respect, I love Andre Johnson. 
But once one of those photo headliners comes out, we're talking a hit video now. You know what I mean? I would have went maybe DJ Moore if it's my time. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. He could have easily stayed on the decks. Jackson Smith and Jigbo, we could have done a wide receiver theme, I suppose. Well, we'll see what we maybe get out of this vault. We got a vault single. Okay, vault single coming up. Makes sure. sense. We were two to go on that. Yeah. So we might put a quick halt on the top to bottom. Still got a vault key out there. Still got a vault key out there. Full size helmets out there. So yeah, we'll do a quick hold on the uh, top to bottom rundown. We'll come to here. There's Scott. He's got three in here now. One. Or two of those, rather. This one seven or 274 order did come from that double. Gave him two into this single. Chris has two spots. Scott's got another spot. Marcus Tabbert. And then Steven with some closer magic here. Thank you, man. So far, this is all we're going to have for that chase. Drop me a number for vault single number one. First come, first serve. They're scrolling right here at the bottom of the screen. 28, 30, and 32. The final three numbers here in the vault. I'm kind of shocked that we're not, you know, chasing Josh Allen in the college with six boxes left. Yeah, that was going to be the next one. And you could double up with Jerome Bettis. Both authentics. That what, double box break should what, be going. What, what are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. Six boxes left, like uh, Alex just said. Two of the biggest headliners in the series. I mean, I'd be testing my luck and just buying out a double. To get, get Josh it, Allen in, like, hey, Bettis, box. well worth it. Well worth it. Well worth it. And you never know what you're going to get as a sick filler. Again, we just saw Lou Holtz as a filler hit. Yeah. You know, that's a sick lid. But these are both full-size authentics. Whoever ends up in that, everything else, whether you buy it out or not, uh, that's going to be a good spot with only six boxes left. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, it's a two and six, one and three chance. We're going to see at least one of these come out in the very next break we do. That double up, though, you can get Allen and Bettis. Not to mention that Michael Irvin's still hanging out as well. It's a three and six chance, exactly 50% in the college. And it is odds uh, your best spot of winning per one spot. Like one and six as opposed to one and eight. That's what I'm trying to say. I might randomize these last three, huh? They like the randomizer today. Randomizer has been busy. So feel free to buzz or beat me if you got a number, guys. Otherwise, the last three are going to go into the randomizer. Once I see them. 28... 28, 30, and 32. Last call, last call, last call. For Steven, Scott, Marcus, or Chris. I don't think I've seen Mr. Corn. Actually, Chris was in the chat like super early on, I think. Yeah. When I was trying to see if people were. I think when we started. Yeah. All right, we're going to go here. He was. He said afternoon, guys. Nine clicks. Looks like 28. Eight. 28. As Alex said, there's still a vault key out there, which means somebody could get a gift card plus a signed piece of memorabilia. That's pretty awesome. These are all guaranteed full-size lids. And honestly, this whole series has been pretty awesome so far. Niner. The other great part, honestly, about like not knowing what's left is right now everybody's still got a shot. You know what I mean? We have no idea what's in this box. So any division can be a winner. Marcus Tabbert, NFC North. Chris Cornwell, NFC South. Scott, NFC East. Steven, NFC West. Scott, AFC North. Steven, AFC South. Chris, AFC East. And Scott, AFC West. These eight guys, by the way, also going to be in the Chase Wheel Spin. This could be, ended up being something for free for somebody. I think actually the only person that could technically get it for free is Marcus, since he's the only one with one spot. But mm. Well, let me go ahead and say, I think Scott made a really good call by switching his two into here. Because that is one of his two. This is a sick Chargers lid here of the great linebacker, Lights Out Sean Merriman. I don't even... Have you been in the room when Common turns off the lights? I have. I have. It is something. I know he's He's like, me. I've been trying something out, Colin. I'm going to try it on you. And he turned out the lights, and I was he like... He has definitely scared people with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will not, but that is very nice on Sean Merriman. AFC West, Scott Lesser. Sean Merriman uh, earned that nickname, Lights Out, by the way. Oh, my yeah. man would hit some people. One of my first favorite defensive players when I was watching football Same. on the Chargers. He was, yeah, a lot of fun to watch. Just flew to the ball, hit hard, and obviously Chargers memorabilia. Fantastic. Just really, really nice. Some of the best. So, Scott, congratulations, man. Again, that is the heat we are still packing in this vault series. 
One of the last two, by the way, is gonna have a gift card. So, yeah. hypothetically speaking, you could win the gift card, which I, I don't know if it's 50 or 100. Uh, it's one of the two. But you could win that. Then you can win the Chase Wheel Spin and a signed piece of memorabilia. So, you could get a lot of money back. I think Plus, it, I you still think get it's it. 100, but I'm not 100% for sure on that. Yeah, I know we pulled, I think, the second to last one yesterday, but I don't remember what we pulled. In all honesty. I go back and forth with the Chargers, Jags, and Dolphins. Which one I like the best out of right. all their memorabilia. Because all their stuff is great. I think the Jags have the best flash, no question. Mm -hmm. But I kind of they kind of drop out of the race for me once you get to the like eclipses and the lunars. They, they're still cool. Yeah. But it feels like when you just talk about across the board, it comes down to the Chargers and Dolphins. Although the Seahawks have really good stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, they do, too. Um, Texans are actually pretty nice. They are pretty nice. They are pretty nice. Very much Sean away. I actually like a lot of the Patriots stuff, too. Yeah, Patriots have nice stuff. They have my... I was. I don't know how we got on the subject, but as far as custom jerseys that I felt, they, like, have my favorite ones. For whatever reason, mm -hmm. it's a really thick jersey. Yeah. The patches are, like, really nice. Something about the Patriots custom jerseys. I don't know what it is. Bill's stuff, pretty good. Right? They, they Whatever they're doing, they're doing it right. They got to keep doing it. Speaking of Bills, Josh Allen in the college, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's get back to that top to bottom and, yeah, talk about this college double once again. Josh Allen and Jerome Bettis. Everything else spot. You can win them both. I mean, if you look at this headliner board, there was a lot of great headliners in this series. I'm not saying there wasn't. Josh Allen... Outside of maybe the Stroud, Jackson Smith, and Jigba, Henderson triple sign, maybe the Archie Eli double sign, that's the biggest headliner in the series. Oh, yeah. It's still out there. Jerome Bettis is easily probably top six, top seven in the series, maybe top five in some people's list. I don't know what was rep or authentic either, but Bettis and Allen both still out there, and you can win them both in the everything else right now for just, what, 160 bucks? If you get 146 bucks, even better. Yeah, like, come on. And then the ACC still has that Michael Irvin Miami lid. I mean, three and six chance at a headliner in the redshirt full-size college series. That is going to be a really nice break. Uh, it's going to happen. The question is when, not if. Diamond double, not a lot of movement again. And I'm guessing this is going to be a break that's going to pick back up, whether it's later on in our show right now or for us at 3 o'clock. Because it was hot when we first topped on. We had 30 boxes left every photo headliner. Now we've done five, so we're down to just 25 boxes, and yeah, every single photo headliner is still there. Everything you see on your screen, all of the double-up opportunities, everything about this making it awesome. Guaranteed full-size authentic or better. Not to mention three of the four listed headliners still there. Eddie George, Marshall Falk, and Mean Joe Green. The diamonds are so good, the only listed headliner that we did pull is probably our hit of the show, and Andre Johnson. If it's not him, I mean, that DJ Moore, which also came out of the Diamonds, Thurman Thomas, uh, Jackson Smith and Jigbar, Rodney Harrison, it all came out of the Diamonds. That is the break to play. Best bang for your buck at 180 or 90 for that single. Let's keep it rolling in the Diamonds. Vault number two is up, guys, again. Two full-size helmets are left for just $84. It is the chase. You can win with one spot. Win yourself that last full-size helmet that also comes with a gift card. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get a sick player with a gift card. Let's say it is $100. There's your break spot already paid for. Then you might win the Chase Wheel Spin and get yourself an extra $100. It might yep. be paying you handsomely to that? take a full-size helmet autographed away from us. Worth it, in my opinion. Five to go in that single. If you want to take your luck at one of those lids in the single, that's the play for you. Uh, single for the diamond at $90. That's still a great play, especially as good as the odds are right now. 13 and 25, by the way, which is better than 50%. Whenever that happens in a series like the diamonds, you want to jump on it. I'm telling you right now. Mini helmets. Uh, we did one break early on. We did pull two headliners, but seven spots to go, 49 a spot. Looking for Earl Campbell and Roger Craig. A couple of listed, or excuse me, photo headliners left here in the final seven boxes. Love the Earl Campbell Euler helmet that's still out there. The Roger Craig, really nice, too. Underrated player, Roger Craig. And last but certainly not least, the jerseys, which are eight to go still. Uh, we are actually in a pretty good spot in the jerseys. Almost 50%. 15 boxes left, seven headliners. A.J. Green, uh, speaking of underrated, underappreciated, I think A.J. Green is 
one of the most solid wide receivers I've ever seen play football. Antonio Gates is a top five tight end of all time. Eric Dickerson, another underrated guy in my opinion. He holds a single season rushing yards, obviously, but if you look at the seasons around it, it is really, really good. Brian Urlacher still out there as well. Uh, he's not underrated, perfectly rated. Hall of Famer, one of the best linebackers of all time unanimously. Robert Mathis, Joe Theismann, and Drew Bledsoe all still out there in the jerseys. So plenty to do there. I'm new to this. I had a meeting and missed the first part of the show. How do I see who won some drawings earlier? I think that might be Steven. I know. Are you You are Steven. Gotta be, yeah, right? He won a James Lofton jersey in the jerseys, and then he won the Russell Maryland rep in the college. Yeah, so Steven, good to see you in the chat, my man. Yeah, so we can just kind of do a quick recap here. I think this is your first break, the minis. Unfortunately, you did have two spots missed out there. In the jerseys, though, you did get a W in James Lofton. It was a nice uh, Packer standard jersey, as Alex mm -hmm. said. Uh, Apollo doubled up here. I don't think you were in that break anyway. Double diamond, didn't see there. Uh, you won here, as you just said, that Russell Maryland replica oh, yeah. helmet, that uh, Miami shut rep, which was pretty cool. And then Scott got that diamond double, and then Scott got a uh, different Scott got the Sean Merriman. So there we go. Dark Wolf, hop in. Can't wait to see the last two vaults. They're going to be good, I'm telling you. I mean, that's... A specialty series, generally speaking, our specialty series are high-end, right? Yeah. Uh, that is a good one. The vault is definitely a high-end. Everything in there is good, filler or not. Says, awesome, thanks. You got it, man. Good to finally see you, by the way, Steven. Uh, Steven, I, I'm guessing you, maybe you were in the chat last night, but who is your team, my man? Who is your squad? I know uh, it was his first time chatting here, so I don't know if he said anything last night. Yeah, regardless, good to have him. Yeah. Good to have him. Uh, he's been winning today, so very nice. Yeah, what the two breaks he was in, he won. Oh, besides the minis. Yeah, in this last ball. But regardless, hot. You get 50%, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is. Oh, he's a Broncos fan. Oh, ah, okay. Get a lot of Broncos. I mean, obviously Manning, Elway, mm -hmm. Champ Bailey, Clinton Portis. Shannon uh, Sharp. Shannon Sharp, yeah. Um, I mean, Jerry Judy a lot when he was there. Judy. A lot of them. Javante Williams. Ed McCaffrey killer. here recently. Ed McCaffrey. It's just kind of fun when people say their favorite team, and you're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> let me let me just run through that. There are some teams, though, where it's just like, oh, God. Like, Cowboys, it's like, where do I start? I've seen Brandon Marshall on the Broncos, actually, before. Yeah. True. The receiver, not the linebacker. I haven't seen the linebacker yet. Von Miller on some speed flexes. In the yeah. Four. Seen Von Miller. Good call. I think we had a we had a Broncos Super Bowl defense helmet one time. That thing was sick. Yeah, yeah. Tons of signatures on that I thing. I think it was literally everybody from that Peyton Manning defense besides DeMarcus Ware for some reason. Yeah, DeMarcus Ware wasn't there. But yeah, I had Von Miller and... Uh, the whole rest of the defense. Who's was, who was the safety? The safety was good, too. Oh, I can't remember man. his name. Oh, I'm blanking. I am, too. I'm sure Steven knows. I know the other pass rusher was like Shane Ray. Yeah. The solid. safety was good. I can't remember his name, though. We get Brian Dawkins on the Broncos? We do get Brian Dawkins on the Broncos. Broncos are a popular team. I don't... I mean, they easily could be fillers in the diamonds, but... Cortland Sutton on jerseys and minis, I see a lot. Yeah, we've gotten, like, like Randy Gratishar, for example. Yeah. Um, we do do baseball. Bill Romanowski. Yes, we do. You actually, you must be just new enough. We had, like, back-to-back yeah. -back baseball series. Literally last week, so... Yeah. It's a great thing about Ultimate Autographs. I say this a lot. Like, series come and go, right? Like, once we're done with this vault series, there's going to be another new series in the room. When we're done with the college, there's going to be another new series in the room. And especially since we, you know, it's not football season right now, we're trying to kind of break in more into baseball. I'll tell you what, right now, since we haven't unpacked all the stuff from the CSA show and whatever else, there's actually a lot more baseball memorabilia in the back. I don't want to say more than football, but a lot of baseball memorabilia. I mean, the last baseball series you just had had a sick Mike Trout bat. Yeah, it's crazy. Getting yeah. Mike Trout a decent amount here Sammy recently. Sammy Sosa in the last couple. Basically, name your player, Apollo. We've probably had him. For the, I mean, unless it's like Babe Ruth, you know. Yeah, Babe Ruth. I, yeah, that might, like, besides like the old school. Yeah, like Ty Cobb. We've yeah. had Ted Williams. We, yeah, it's a couple times. We've had Yogi Berra a few times. Yep. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., obviously. Yeah, Plenty. He, was, he was in one of the last baseball series. Ronald Acuna's been in there a lot. Nolan yeah. Ryan. I mean, yeah, you name Bob Gibson. We've had a lot of greats. Yeah. A lot of greats. I think like Mickey Mantle and Babe Ruth are like one of the only ones that I haven't seen. If we ever get a Babe Ruth. For a reason. Yeah. <laughs> that's. It's kind of like why we don't get Sean Taylor. You know, like, Sean Taylor's autograph is hard to get, 
as yeah. you might imagine, uh, very expensive very as well. Very expensive to where if we even wanted to put him in a series, it would be him and nothing else. <laughs> Apollo, I'm going to tell you right now, man, st- stay tuned. Stick around. Yeah. Uh, I have seen Mike Trout Chrome many bats. times in this break room. Yeah, Chrome Bat was insane. I don't know if we'll ever get another one of those, yeah. but that thing was incredible. But we just had him on a photo in the one and four? Or was that a baseball mixer? I don't remember. I know we had him on like on a... I think it was a one and four. A cool bat. I know, yeah, we did have him in a one and four, I think, in a photo. I've seen him twice within the last month. I think we had Otani once, maybe. Did we have Otani? I think we might have had Otani. I want to say we had him once in a one and four. We might have had Otani. I think you might be right. I think we did have Otani. We, we had a lot of Ronald Acuna, though. A lot of Ronald Acuna. I'm trying to think, like, if we ever get, like, Anthony Luke. Rendon, I'm trying to think of other <laughs> angels. Oh, other angels? Other angels. Maybe, like, their like, former closer, Troy Percival, is, like, a filler. I know Apollo's an actual angels fan because. He could be a Dodgers fan, which would be a lot easier. Yeah. It'd be a lot be easier on his mental key. health. Freddie Freeman. It'd be a lot easier on his mental health to be a Dodgers fan than an Angels fan. And that's how you know you're dedicated. You come out loud and proud and say, I'm an Angels fan. Yeah. I, oh, Vlad Sr. Vlad Sr. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good one. one. Good one on the Angels. Exactly. <laughs> he would love it. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. All right, guys, what else do we want to do here? 134, I mean, Alex and I are going to hang out, you know, at least, obviously, a little while longer. But let's start attacking this break page a little bit, man. I've yet to see that colonist congratulated the hockey team that plays in the world's most famous arena for winning the President's <laughs> Trophy for the best record in the NHL. That's okay. He's a Midwestern guy who likes the Eagles. Go figure. Oh, man. You know, I was about to say congratulations, but now, well, I don't know. Yeah. Congrats, Bob. The New York Rangers. Winning the President's Cup, the best team in the NHL. NHL postseason right around the corner. Does that just mean they're going to lose in the first round? I feel like this is what always happens in hockey. <laughs> Alex is calling you out, Bob. Lives in Orange County. Ducks and Angels, baby. All right. Ooh. All right. Ducks and Angels. We definitely had some Mannheim Duck fillers in the one and four. Oh, yeah. I can't think of any. No, I can't think of any. I, I, I know I've seen can. Anaheim Ducks items. If you're a hockey fan in general, though, there are some sick hockey hits in that one and four as a yeah. whole. But, uh, yeah, some really, really cool stuff. But, yeah, guys, let me know. Let me know. I just deleted my page. I was going to go show you the break page, but I have dropped it. It happens. It happens. It does happen. It's a Tuesday. It's NASCAR Tuesday. It's NASCAR Tuesday. No NASCAR hits today. No. We do get some NASCAR, though, in the it's one and Dale four. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s. The Honda Center will be much darker in the next couple months. Ooh. <laughs> it sounds like it did not go well. Did not go well. Uh, so, we'll, well, actually, the United Center could stay light up for the Bulls. Who are, are, do you want the Bulls to do well? Steven was very bitter about the Bulls. I mean, they're, they're mediocrity. They're okay. stuck in the middle. <laughs> so you're, he was like, I, he said that he would actually rather be where the White Sox are right now. Than no, where the, the White are Sox right. are even worse because the White Sox aren't even trying to tank and they still suck. They, still they have no suck. incentive. They can't have another top five pick. I think I shared it. Well, I shared it with you and Jeff before our meeting today. Uh, what did I say? 1912? The first time since 1912, I think, that a team has had six shutouts against them in the first uh, 16 be- games. Because of a, a new MLB thing, they had a top five pick last year and they're a big market team. They are not the best pick they could possibly get. They could lose the rest of the game of the season is the 10th pick. So you like you have no incentive to lose, and you're still the worst team in baseball. They're in limbo. You want to talk about limbo. Sell the team. Sell the oh, team. God. Sell the team. I think he's just doing it despite the fans at this point. I mean, I know in I baseball, it, like if you have the number one pick, it's not like anything's here. Like it's the most like least hit on Oh, sport. sure, yeah. But come on. You have uh, zero incentive. Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I don't know. What are you going to do? Uh, the biggest contract he gave out was the Andrew Benatendi. He's garbage now. He's the biggest contract in White Sox history. Like five years, 90 mil. He's never eclipsed 100 mil yet. No. To he, like, like I know it's a ton of money. I, I could never, I'll never see that in my lifetime. But you're a professional Alex, sports owner. Some faith. <laughs> <laughs> you're an owner in professional sports and you've never given out a $100 million contract. That's, yeah, it doesn't make I any sense. I think even the A's have. It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and, and especially since we're big markets. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it makes Chicago. sense if we were... You know, in Salt Lake City, Utah, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, last I saw, I think it's changed. He's actually been batting a little bit better, Andrew Benintendi, even is he, though. Is he finally above 200? Uh, he wasn't above 100 <laughs> last I saw him. He was batting .098. I think I actually saw that with Lindor. He wasn't even batting 100 yet. It's terrible. 
Yeah, point oh nine eight with like no home runs, like no RBIs. Oh, like, no, I went to the game on Saturday. They they have these milkshakes. Everyone's talking about these oh, really yeah. nice milkshakes. The campfire ones or whatever. Yeah, went in the the top of the fifth. Uh huh. They're sold out. Wow. I mean, that's good at least. Yeah, but the stadium wasn't even halfway full. So how are you sold out in the fifth inning? <laughs> Everybody with, with that was there wanted stadium. one. <laughs> Everybody like, what would you have done if one. the stadium was full, sold out? You would have sold out in the second inning. I don't know. <laughs> That my even worse reminds oh. me of when I went to the Indy 500 a few years ago, and it was the busiest they've ever had because they set records every year, and it was also the record heat, the hottest Indy 500 Ooh. they've ever had. And my friends and I were in the snake pit, and it was horrible. I'm glad I did it at one time. I never want to do it again. Yeah. Not for me. Way too much chaos going on in there. But I came out and I'm like I'm like I'm so thirsty, and we line <laughs> up to get in the concession stand. We're in line for 15 minutes. Get to the front. Can I get a bottle of water? We have no more water. I'm like, oh, does anywhere else? Nope, everyone sold out. They ran out of water on the hottest day of the Indy 500. How do you not come prepared? The only, the only thing more shocking is we haven't closed out the college. Doesn't make any sense. Or the diamonds. We, we haven't pulled a photo of that liner. Yeah, these double box breaks should be going off the rails, right? I mean, look at the double ups again. In the do- I don't know if I've ever seen it like this. It's almost like every division. Yeah, I mean, every division, every single headliner outside of Tyree Kill has a double up opportunity. Whether it's another photo headliner or a listed headliner. Yep. Jason Burrow, plus Joe Green, Steve Young, and Deion Sanders, maybe Marshall Falk. Justin Jefferson and Barry Sanders, the Michael Irvin, the Eagles quad sign, the Emmett Smith. Uh, yeah, lot and lots of potential here in the Diamond Helmets, man. All full-size authentic. It's going to go crazy. It is going to go crazy. Don't miss it. Because you never know when, you know, Big Dog comes running into this room you know, I tell them what I'm telling you guys right now. There's 25 boxes left, 13 headliners, and they're like, wow, let me grab four or five spots. Let me grab all eight spots. And the next thing you know, you could have snuck in there with a chance right here right now to, like, at least put your name into the drawing, Yeah. and you miss it because they came in and just kind of stole the show. I'm thinking off the top of my head, the only divisions you can't really double up with that we know of are probably the most common best uh, filler hits. You think of, like, all the Bucks players that are fillers. Yeah. The AFC, uh, NFC South. I mean, Tyreek Hill can be doubled up with a potential Jalen Waddle that can be hiding out there. See that all the time. You never know. I mean, we've already had Thurman Thomas and Rodney Harris in the AFC yep. East. Definitely a big hitter. AFC West, plenty of double up possibilities with fillers. And we've been seeing, I mean, Kyle Pitts, Drake London, Warren Sapp, Derek Brooks. Yep. I mean, tons of NFC South hits recently here in the Diamonds. Here's another look to... Luke Keekley a filler a lot. <sighs> right? I've seen a speed flex Luke Keekley as a filler. Crazy. Crazy things happen here, man. This is the best series in the room, and I'm not just saying that right now. No. It actually is. And I've never just said that. And pound for pound, it is the best series in the room. Best bang for your buck. Guaranteed full-size authentic. Just $180 uh, for two full-size authentics. It's nuts. And then the college double. I mean, six boxes left, and two of them are that everything else. One of them's Josh Allen. I mean, listen, I'm very curious. Josh Allen is going to have to put his money where his mouth is, and it's nowhere near his fault. But he's lost his two best wide receivers, right? They've, they've taken a big hit on defense as well. This feels very much like a partial rebuild happening in Buffalo. Josh Allen's going to have to make his money out there and uh, prove that he can hold a team together just by great quarterback play. And you know what? I think he can. Yeah. I don't know if the Bills are going to make the playoffs, but I think they're going to be competitive. They're not going to get stomped. This happened to any other team, other side of, like, a Chiefs led by Patrick Mahomes yeah. could be devastating for a quarterback. Well, I'm thinking they, they got to use a draft pick on a receiver. So they need it. Get some talent there. I like the Curtis Samuel signing. I think he's a solid receiver. You got Dalton Kincaid now in his second year. Yeah. As a first round pick tight end. He, you know, you expect him to make a big leap. I think both those guys you just named, Curtis Samuel and Dalton Kincaid, are both going to take big leaps because this is a guy in Josh Allen that's got, you know, 4,000 yards sometimes to give. At the uh, to wide receivers and other pass catchers. That one guy, what is it, Shakir? Yeah, he started to you know tear it up a little bit in the second half of the season. I think that's their number one, technically right speaking. Now, yeah. yeah, and he might blow up. I mean, he's definitely worth the draft pick in fantasy. That's all I'm saying. Jerome Bettis, uh, the guy went out on top, right? Won a Super Bowl and sailed off into the sunset. Not a lot of people get the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Jerome Bettis. You know, before you and I were really watching football, before we were even really old enough to understand what football was, this was a guy that was big, but ran fast, ran hard, and every down kind of back. I think when you and I were starting to tune into football, he transitioned more into the power back, uh, the guy that gets the ball at the goal line on third down. But regardless, 
effective in every role he was ever put in. And uh, that started in college at Notre Dame. And he was one of the best Notre Dame players of all time, one of the best college running backs of all time, one of the best pro running backs of all time. Both of these lids, you can get six left. In that double box break, you can get Josh Allen and Jerome Bettis. Right next to him, Michael Irvin. Talk about one of the most successful wide receivers of all time. Not just in the game, but post-game. I mean, he's got shows that he's on all the time. He's a personality, obviously, with Fox. Does a lot of work for the NFL uh, and the community as a whole. He's definitely an eccentric guy, Michael Irvin. But uh, definitely the playmaker for a reason. Full-size authentic still out there. Three and six chance here in the college at a photo headliner. Those are the breaks to play, y'all, in my opinion. Two to go already now in that double box break. Excuse me, six to go. Two taken in that double box break for the Diamonds. Uh, eight to go in the single. You can get any of those I just named for just 90 bucks. And then six to go in the college single as well. Five to go, excuse me. Somebody bought a spot into there. So you guys let me know. 144, probably stick around for uh, another 15 minutes or so. Probably around 150, 155, depending on if anybody gets into the vault. We'll uh, we'll do the vault wheel spin, mm -hmm. and then we'll probably talk into the show, and we'll sign off if nothing else happens. But yeah. I am hopeful we can get another diamond double done. I know it's six to go, but there's enough people in there that have had interest in this break, and I know y'all have been eyeballing some of these headliners, and the fact that they're all still there, it feels a little incomplete for the show that we don't get at least one out here. You know, it's been the story of the show. Andre Johnson's fantastic, but I want to see one of these come out. And we're going to see it. Whether it's you and me at three or the boys tonight at six, uh, this this series is going to take off. I'm just saying there's some of us watching it right now, and uh, you can get in, sneak in with a couple of spots before the bigger players come in and see, oh, shoot, all this is still available? Let me grab four spots, and then the next thing you know, you, you were SOL because you didn't play now mm -hmm. instead of later when you might not get a chance. I feel so bad when there's people in the chat that come in and they're like, Dang it, I was going to go in there and buy the last spot, but somebody just bought four, and then they miss out, and that last spot actually hit. I don't know. It's a it's a mentality thing, right? People kind of want to, like, make sure the break's going to close, get in at one of the last spots, but mm -hmm. you might miss out if everybody's got that mentality. You should start it. That's the best mentality. Yeah, it's a great point. Then you never miss. No, there's been a lot of salute to service love today. We'll throw Thurman Thomas out here as well. I just like his auto. It's a good auto. Right? The Terminator Inscription, one of the better nicknames in the league. I'm still an Inconvenient Truth, man. That is, that's just a great nickname, the Inconvenient Truth. I mean, that had to be his nickname. Right? He really is. Career that spanned three decades? It's even longer than that. Talking about Frank Gore, by the way, if you don't know. Three decades. 2005 to 2020 for Frank Gore. He is the inconvenient truth. <laughs> he is undeniable. Somehow, too, from 2005 to 2021, that's a 15-year career, mm -hmm. landed on exactly 16,000 yards rushing. That's so cool. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He scored one too many touchdowns. He could have had 16,000 yards rushing and 80 touchdowns. He had 81. Oh. He had 81 touchdowns. But regardless, what a career for the inconvenient truth. Frank Gore, by the way... All over the break room. Get him in jerseys, minis, diamonds, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, the Inconvenient Truth, a staple here at Ultimate Autographs. For good reason. Yeah, you can't go wrong with him. You really can. Third all time in rushing yards. That's crazy. That is crazy. Guys, too, real quick while we're talking, just so you know. If, uh, like, somebody I know just bought into that diamond double... If we don't end up doing that Diamond Double this show, you don't lose your spots. We're not going to send you a refund or anything. It just carries over to the next show, which is even better. So 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Time every single day of the week and weekend. Seven days a week. Yes, sir. Just about every single day of the year, especially now that we have, you know, the staff for it and whatever else. Mm -hmm. Like, we do a really good job here at filling in for each other when we need to and then putting on shows on off days, you know, technical off days, but still coming in and making sure you guys get a fix for some ultimate autographs. Based on this show, which has been fun, probably going to be even more fun at three. Oh, yeah. Right? With, I mean, all the great hits we had again. The diamond hits we had today, Rodney Harrison, Jackson Smith and Jigba, Thurman Thomas, uh, DJ Moore and Andre Johnson. 
And those are the bonus bangers. Exactly. We haven't even found the best stuff, and it's a better than a 50% chance right now in the diamonds to find it. But I'm going to say here, two-minute warning, if you want to get any traction in this vault series, guys. Again, it is the automatic chase. So far, just the people that are in uh, this break right here are the only eight that are going to get in. Uh, Scott, for example, who had three spots, might get himself a gift card back plus that Sean Merriman rep. If somebody wants in right now, you know, get in. Maybe you get that last gift card, which could be $100, could be $50. I know it's one of those two. Get yourself a full-size lid and potentially a wheel spin. So a lot of options there in the vault. But we can go either way. I think uh, basketball tonight. What's your predictions? I know Ooh. the Warriors playing the Kings in Sacramento. That is the big game, right? Because somebody's their season's going to end right then and there. Yeah, that, that's it's hard not to pick the Warriors in that one. I mean, you just want. I mean, you're, I'm just expecting Warriors Lakers. Probably Warriors Lakers. You would think. Uh, with that being said, Golden State two and a half point favorites. New Orleans. One and a half points. I know David would probably not appreciate you saying the Pelicans will not win. But. No, I think they'll win, and then it's Lakers Warriors playing each other. Oh, I see what you're saying. Pelicans are yeah. going to go on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I, I saw Mike Greenberg actually talking about this. He said it would be smart for the Lakers to lose, so you could play OKC if you win the next one instead of playing Denver in the first round. You get the the smaller sized OKC team where Anthony Davis can kind of you know dominate. Yeah. Inexperienced, or do you want to play Denver in the first round? Uh, I'll take the former, I think. I love Greeny, by the way. Probably one of my top three favorite sportscasters mm -hmm. out there. Just very, uh, very educated, you know? Well-spoken. Yeah. I like <laughs> him because, on. like, he got his own show, and it's good. It's a good show if you don't watch it. But, like, Stephen A. Smith, as entertaining as he is, Shannon Sharp, Skip, like, these guys are – even Colin Coward. They're very yeah. entertaining sportscasters. But, like – Big takes. Big takes – a little just out there, like, because they feel a certain way, they say certain things. I feel like Mike Greenberg does have some hot takes, don't get me wrong. Yeah. You have to, I feel like, to have a sports show, but his is backed up a little bit more by, like, history, facts, whatever else. It's not just saying something to say something. He actually believes what he's saying most of the time. Yes. <laughs> yes. If, if it is on land, he at least believes it. Some of the other ones, it's just to say it to say it. They'll say it to say it, right? Get some sort of reaction. So, shout out Greeny. Shout out Scott Van Pelt, probably my favorite of them all. And I think that's probably a hot take for a lot of people. Or not a hot take. Uh, it's a cool take. I think a lot of people have that take. Let's do this vault wheel spin. All right. Nine clicks. Top spot getting the chase. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and niner. It is Scott Lesser. Makes sense. Makes sense. I think that was his order. He transferred over, too. So that that's really worked out. Yeah. So, Scott, if you're out there, I know he popped in for a minute. Uh, actually, he popped in with Luke. I don't know if he's actually in the chat or not. But, Scott, if you are out there, you did win the chase, my friend. You won the Sean Merriman, so you made the most of this. Let me know what number you would like to start on 1 to 100, and we will make it happen. For Justin Price, what's going on, my man? Uh, here's the great news about the diamonds. We've done five boxes, and everything you see in this photo is still available. Not just Joe Burrow. The Jamar Chase that you can double up with. Plus, there's that Joe Green in the listing. The Justin Jefferson, Barry Sanders double up. The NFC North still alive. The Steve Young Chrome Flex with the red visor paired with the Deion Sanders and the NFC West still alive. All of the NFC East hits still alive. Michael Urban, Emmett Smith, the quad signed Eagles helmet, and that Tyree Kill. All still alive. Every photoed headliner. Ten of them to be exact in the final 25. Throw in... The uh, Eddie George, Marshall Falk, and Mean Joe Green, it's a 13-25 and 25 chance at a headliner in the Diamonds right now. It's absolute insanity. It is going to roll off, go crazy, whether it's at 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. Probably oh, yeah. both. It's probably going to span through both. It's going to be a lot of fun in the Diamond Helmets. So give, uh, give Scott about one more minute here. See if he can call a number. Otherwise, we will start on one. But Scott, three spots in the break. Won himself that Sean Merriman rep. And he's going to win the chase wheel spin. Have Very day. nice. Yeah. I'm glad he called Luke and said he wanted to switch. That was yeah. Both of these were with that spot uh, he had from the double. But otherwise, guys, uh, this is about the eight-minute warning here. If you guys want to get something close, Alex and I are more than happy to stay on and rip it. Otherwise... 
we might move it over to 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and spin this starting at 1. Maybe, maybe. Here we go. All right, good luck, Scott. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. $74. Bang, bang. $74 coming back to him. Almost paid for the single spot that he bought in there. Yeah, how about that? Plus, he got the Sean Merriman. More than that, he's probably profiting overall. So, nicely done. Nicely done. I always like when Joe does the chase wheels, but I'm sure you've heard it a few times when you work with him on Saturday nights. When he's like, come on, Joe! <laughs> yeah. He really hypes himself up. <laughs> come on, Joe! <laughs> hey, four to go on that diamond double, guys. I'm going to drop that in there. Just four spots to go. You can see it right here. Let's try to get a late push. We can get that to two. If we can get two more spots knocked off before two o'clock, we'll stay on and rip it. So four to go. Again, I'll show the graphic. Everything you see here is still available. All the double up opportunities, all guaranteed full size authentics are better. Or better, of course, would be this Steve Young Chrome Flex. The gold is outrageous. The red is beautiful. I don't even know if it... It's one of those weird ones that, like, it's kind of chrome, but, like, it's kind of matte, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Just tell you that much. Best left-handed quarterback to ever play. I think that's hands down. Right? I mean, I, who else would compete? Jeanette Lee grabbing a spot in there. Justin Price grabbing a spot in there. I know Steven's got a couple spots in there. Steven knows what's up. So who wants to help these guys out? See if we can get one done here before the end of the show. Uh oh. Our man Scott wants number 23. I already spun it. Oh. You got 74 You got 74 hours. Hours. So I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he can chat, he knows, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, I can spin it from 23. I'm going to, like, privately spin it. I just want to see what happens now. I'm pretty sure he'll take 74 hours, yeah. though. That's... Way better than the average. Yeah, he's going to take the other one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> just just so Scott knows, I did just spin it privately, landed on 65. So, I think he'll take the 74. Yeah. I would. I absolutely would. Hop, back into, hop into the college and potentially win Josh Allen. Right? Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, you and I both a little surprised that this double isn't moving a little quicker at this point with only eight, or excuse me, not even eight, six boxes left. Yeah. Two full-size, three full-size authentics with Michael Irvin, but Josh Allen and Jerome Bettis. Three full-size authentics and a double-up opportunity in that everything else with Josh Allen and Jerome Bettis. Yeah. It's insanity. Well, I understand sometimes if it's a headliner you don't like or, you know, there is no headliners left, but it's three and six with three really good headliners. Yeah, with a double-up, and again, that Josh That's Allen it. has to be top three in the series yeah i mean yeah there's no reason and if not that if you'd rather take a shot at the double which is only five to go by the way yep where'd that go only 73 dollars for a full-size authentic wyoming josh allen we're talking about a lid that's worth a few hundred dollars I'm sure we can find it the fanatics going rate oh well worth more than the spot the josh allen oh absolutely Josh Allen, the wyoming authentic or at least bare minimum times you know seven eighting the whatever it's worth the spot let's see what they've got here do, do, they might not even have the college do, do, do. might not even have the college I'm finding it on eBay for about 700 bucks yeah exactly just just for starters it's pretty much times 10 a single spot <laughs> oh that's a speed flex I was like holy cow it's yeah speed it's flex college it's about seven, six hundred, seven hundred dollars. Yeah, Speed Flex College. That's something we have, I have not seen here. I've seen it once, I think. Speed Flex? It, it was a Chrome Flex, even I think. I can't, it was a college player. Oh, I, can't remember I think it was. it was Bo Jackson on the Auburn. Bo Jackson, yep, yeah, that's exactly what it was. I remember. Yeah. Somebody yeah, was like a I big remember. Bo Jackson fan the other day, and I was like, boy, we get a lot of Bo Jackson we on do? some sick stuff, no. including that three-toned military we, hydro. We do know Bo. We do know Bo. But yeah, on eBay right now, people are listing this lid for about $700, $600. So yeah. you can win it for potentially $73 in that single or $146 in the double, but you pair it with a Jerome Bettis Authentic. Let's see what that's going for. Jerome Bettis Notre Dame Authentic. Can't find one like this. 
almost 500 bucks. This one's almost 700 yeah. bucks. That might not even be a full size. It is a full size. So yeah, we're talking about well over $1,000 in value between those two. Yep. Well over $1,000. That you can get for just over 100 bucks. That is not bad at all. That is what we are sleeping on in that college series right now. But two-minute warning, guys. Two-minute warning. Uh, four to go in that diamond double. If we don't get it done this show, it'll certainly be a pre-fill or at least close to being filled for us in the 3 p.m. show, especially with everything still out there. It's almost, uh, almost kind of like having a 50% chance at a plus 1,000 parlay. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. If, if that was my bet, I would be yeah. on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Very excited. Hit of the show, I mean, gotta be Andre Johnson, right? I mean, I know you like DJ Moore. I do like DJ Moore, but yeah, Andre Johnson, I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. Well, you could probably, I mean, future I know you got him in the other room, least. but we might do like a like past, present, future wide receiver. Do like an Andre Johnson, you know, whatever, and then DJ Moore, and then Jackson Smith and Jigba. Yeah, I like that. Three different styles, a little past, present, future. So those might be the three best hits. However, these are the ones we kept on. The Terminator still out there. Beautiful on that salute. And then the great Rodney Harrison, a little defense out here. But, man, these are great hits, great helmets. We're just scratching the surface, man. That's for sure. Every single photo and headline is still out there in the diamonds. It's a 10 in 25 chance right now. 13 in 25 when you include the two listed headliners. These are the filler hits that we've been hitting, so nothing in the diamonds is bad. We've already showed it off. Jerome Bettis, Josh Allen, Michael Irvin here in the Red Shirt College Series. That's going to go off. I mean, that series should probably be finishing itself up sooner rather than later. Jerseys are in a good spot with seven headliners left in 15 boxes, about a 50% chance, two headliners left in the minis. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. 3 p.m. show might get interesting. We'll just say that. Final thoughts, Alex? No, I mean, I think the 3 p.m. show is going to go crazy. Should be fun, man. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, it is 2 o'clock. That was the deadline. I think we are still 4 to go, so look for that early in that 3 p.m. show. Tune back in. Literally just about, actually right on the dot, one hour from now, me and Alex right back here doing our thing, ripping some more great memorabilia here at Ultimate Autographs. We will see you guys in just about an hour. Until then, take it easy. Enjoy some lunch. We'll see you soon.